Preface of Lessons in the Shanghai Dialect. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Shyan Arrowsmith. Lessons in the Shanghai Dialect by Francis Lister Hawksport. Preface. At a time when there is much discussion in China as to the desirability and possibility of the adoption of a uniform language all over the empire, it may seem strange to put forth a book on the Shanghai dialect. The writer sympathizes fully with the aims of those who could make Mandarin the medium of communication throughout China, but at the same time feels very strongly. That a great many years must pass before this can be accomplished. Local dialects die hard, as witness the still existing varieties of speech found in Great Britain. Even more perfect means of communication binding the parts of a country closely together, and even the introduction of a common language into the school system, are not able of themselves to do away with the speaking of the old local dialect. Men cling persistently to the speech of their forefathers. When we reflect that the so-called Shanghai dialect is in reality the ancient language of the Wu Kingdom, and is perhaps more closely akin to the original language of the Chinese people than Mandarin, we can understand why it will last for many years. Further, it has a very wide range. Although local varieties occur every few miles. Yet in the main, the Shanghai dialect is understood by at least twenty million of people. For the missionary working is the Jiangsu Province. A knowledge of the local dialect is indispensable, and the acquisition of it would be most useful for all those whose lot is cast to this part of China. Foreigners living in Shanghai would find it a great advantage to speak the native language. And in their business relations with the Chinese, would be greatly helped if they could converse in something better than the jargon known as Pidgin English. It is for the purpose of making the attainment of a speaking knowledge of the language somewhat less difficult that the writing of this book has been undertaken. It has seemed to the writer. That the acquisition of a knowledge of the written characters and of the spoken language are two distinct things. It is possible for one to learn to speak the language without being able to read the characters. By the use of the clear and simple system of romanization adopted by missionaries in Shanghai, it is possible to represent approximately all the sounds employed in the dialect. In these lessons, this system is adopted. And a student is urged to master it thoroughly. If he will do so, he can use these lessons and learn to speak the language even without knowing the characters. The characters of all the words and sentences employed are given, but they are put in the book for the benefit of the Chinese teacher. It would be unwise to trust entirely to the romanization. The student in using the book should have a teacher by his side, who. By reading the Chinese corresponding to the Romanized sound, can give him a clearer idea of the pronunciation. Although, in a sense, the book is a shortcut to learning the spoken language, of course, it is not meant to discourage the student from mastering the written language. This is, however, a distinct study and should be undertaken in a different way. The best method of this. Will be to use a primer in vernacular containing the most familiar characters, and then to advance from it to the reading of the New Testament or other books in the vernacular. Vernacular books should be read first, for the reading of them will be a great assistance in learning the spoken language. After the first year, books in the literary style Feng Li should be begun. In using this book, the first thing. To be mastered thoroughly is the introductory matter. The student must get this first, for it is the key to the rest of the book. He must also learn to distinguish the tones and the inflections of the voice which they imply. Then he will be ready to go on with the lessons.
Although the book is divided into thirty lessons, it is not expected that a student will be able to master a lesson a day. Some of the lessons will require three or four days' work. In putting the English sentences into Chinese, the best plan would be to write out in a romanization what the student thinks the proper way of translating them would be. Then these sentences may be read to the teacher, who will correct them. And from the Chinese text, we'll be able to tell the right way to say them. At present, only thirty lessons are published. The writer hopes, however, if the method proves to be useful, to extend these lessons still further in the future. In preparing these lessons, many books have been consulted, especially the lessons by Dr. Yates, which contain a most useful collection of words and sentences. And have long been the standard book for learning the dialect. The grammar by Dr. Atkins, which contains a mass of useful information in regard to the structure of the language, and the Mandarin lessons by Dr. Matie, a most exhaustive work on spoken Chinese. The writer's thanks are due especially to Reverend J. A. Silsby. For the permission to make use of his clear statement of the Shanghai system of romanization, and to Professor F. C. Cooper for many suggestions and the trouble he has taken in reading the proofs, the unfailing courtesy of Reverend G. F. Fitch, Doctor of Divinity, Mrs. Gilbert Macintosh, and C. W. Douglas, has been much appreciated. In the care they have taken in seeing the book through the press, Francis Lister Hawkes Port, January the first, nineteen o seven. The revised edition. The compiler of these lessons is gratified to find that they have proved useful to students of the Shanghai dialect. He regrets that he has been too much occupied to prepare additional lessons. In reprinting them. Care has been taken to make the necessary corrections. The copy used by the late Professor W. O. B. Harding has been of great service in the work of revision, as in it almost all the errors in tongue marks, punctuation, and typography had been noted. Dr. A. W. Tucker has very kindly compiled the vocabularies at the end of the book, and in this way has enhanced its value. The author's thanks are due to all those who have given him suggestions and pointed out mistakes. Francis Lister Hawkes Port, April the twenty-eighth, nineteen o nine. New edition. In preparing the new edition, the author has received most valuable help from his colleague Professor F. C. Cooper. The two new lessons were suggested by him. And the one containing more useful words and phrases is the result of his experience gained through teaching the book to a class of beginners. My thanks are also due to him for the time and the care he has spent in correcting the proofs and seeing the book through the press. The author hopes the book will continue to be a useful stepping stone in the acquisition of a knowledge of the Shanghai dialect. In as much as Davis' Shanghai dialect exercises may be used as a second book after the completion of this, it has not been deemed necessary to add many new lessons. Francis Lister Hawkes Port, October the twenty-ninth, nineteen thirteen. In putting out this new edition, the author has made necessary corrections and added a few new terms. The Chinese language is changing rapidly at the present time. Some expressions and terms formerly used have become obsolete, and new ones have taken their place. The French fathers at Sikaway, Shigawe, with the author's permission, have published a French edition, and it is gratifying to think that the influence of this book has, in this way, been further extended. Attention is called to a very good little book. Conversational lessons in the Shanghai dialect, prepared by Dr. Frank Rawlinson and Reverend J. W. Crawford, which has as its subtitle, a supplement to Dr. Potts' lessons. 
The author would recommend it as a second book in a course on the study of the Shanghai dialect. Francis Lister Hawkes Pott, November the eighteenth, nineteen twenty-four. End of preface. Recording by Cheyenne Arrowsmith. Description of the Shanghai Romanized System. Of Lessons in the Shanghai Dialect by Francis Lister Hawkes Port. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Cheyenne Arrowsmith. Description of the Shanghai Romanized System. Nearly all the syllables are represented by the combination of an initial and a final, a system which has been found to be well adapted to the Chinese language. Initials. Chinese sounds are divided into upper and lower series. The initials to represent the upper series are P, apostrophe M, apostrophe V, T, TS, S, apostrophe L, apostrophe N, apostrophe NY, apostrophe NG, K, KY. K W, I, and apostrophe W. These initials are pronounced in most cases much the same as in English, but without aspiration, higher in pitch, and with very little vibration of the larynx. The apostrophe before a letter indicates that the letter belongs to the higher series. Pure vowel initials also belong to this series. N Y. Has a sound similar to that of n i in Spaniel. K y equals to c h in chuck with all aspiration eliminated. I, as an initial, has the sounds of i in dahlia. The aspirates are p h f t h. T S H, K Y, C H, K H W, H, H Y, and H W. T H as in Thompson, not as in thin. C H equals to C H in church. H Y is nearly like T I in Porsche. The other aspirates are like the corresponding initials of the higher series, with the addition of a strong aspiration, indicated by H. The initials to represent the lower series are B, M, V, D, D Z, Z, L, N, N Y. N G, G, J, G W, Y, N W. Their pronunciation is much the same as in English. They are lower in pitch than corresponding initials of the higher series, and have more voice, being pronounced with more decided vibration of the larynx. The lower vowel initials. Indicated by an inverted comma and attended with a slight aspiration, belong to this series. It would be noted that this sign differs from that employed to indicate that a consonant initial belongs to the upper series, an apostrophe being used to denote the upper initial. This inverted comma is used only before vowels. And if by mistake this sign is used before consonant instead of the apostrophe, this need not confuse the reader, for the sign of the upper series is properly used only before the initial consonants m, v, l, n, n y, n g, w, and r. It should be noted well that the difference between the corresponding initials of the upper and the lower series. Is not so much a difference in consonantal quality as a difference in pitch, 
but there is a real consonantal difference. The higher series may be classified as third, and the lower as sonant. Finals. One. The vowel endings are a, e, i, a u, o, o o, e u, u, u i, i a. I A U, I E U, and I E. Two, the nasal endings are Group A, A N, E N, I E N, and O E N, in which the N is not sounded but lengthens out. And imparts a nasal quality to the preceding vowel. Group B, A N G, A U N G, O O N G, U N G, and I A N G, in which N G has the value of N G in song. Group C, U I N, in which N. Is sonant and has a value varying between n and n g. Three, the abrupt vowel endings are a k, a h, e h, i h, a u h, o k, o e h, u h, and i a k, in which h and k. Are the signs of the zeng zeng, and a vowel is pronounced in a short, abrupt manner. The sounds of the vowels are a, as in far, except when followed by n or h, when it has the sound of a is man or mat. E, as in pray, before h, it has the sound of e, as in met. I, as in caprice, before H or NG, it is shortened to I, as in mit or sin. AU, as in August. O, as in so. OO, as in OO, in two. OE, as in the ligature of O and E, in German, Goethe. The O with diuresis. E U as in French, Monsieur. U as in O O in foot, always preceded by an S sound. U I as in fruit, or rather as in French, U. In I A I A U. I E U and I E, we have short I followed closely by A A U E U and E, as described above. Of course, it is understood that the Chinese sounds in the majority of cases vary somewhat from the English sounds which are given as the nearest equivalent. The true pronunciation of Chinese sounds should be learnt from a Chinese teacher. And the students should always bear it in mind that any romanization used does not represent English sounds, but Chinese sounds. This fact cannot be too strongly emphasized. The Do Yong Si Mu initials used alone, i.e., without vowels, are T S, T S H, D Z, S. Z, M, N, G, and R. The first five are followed by the vowel sound in the second syllable of able, prolonged. Metier and Bola use I with diuresis for this sound, and the new Mandarin Romanized uses I. It is not written, but understood in the Shanghai system. M has the sound of M in chasm. 
and ng the sound of ng in hanga. R is a sound between final r and the l. Tones, the tones are four in number, each occurring in the upper and the lower series. As has been stated, the upper and the lower series can be distinguished by the initials. Sounds in the upper series are of a higher pitch, and those in the lower series of a lower pitch. The names of the tongues are bing sen, even sound, sang sen, rising sound, qi sen, going sound, zeng sen, entering sound. Tongue signs. To the left of a word indicates the tongue to be zang sen rising sound. To the right indicates the qi sen going sound. Final h or k indicate the zang sen entering sound. All other words are in the bing sen even sound. Sounds of the tongues. The sounds of the tongues, of course, can only be learned from a Chinese teacher. The bing sen even sound is an even turn, the voice being level, with a slight falling inflection, as when we say "come here" in our imperatives. The zang sen rising sound in the upper series is a twanging sound. And sounds something like the vibration of a string of a musical instrument. In the lower series, it has a wave sound which can be symbolized to the eye by the curve. The voice first falls and then rises. The qi sen going sound has the same sound in both the upper and the lower series. The voice rises much as it does when we ask a question. The students should practice with the teacher on the following table of sounds, and in time will be able to distinguish the tongues clearly and to make the proper inflection himself. Foreigners are seldom able to perfect themselves in the use of tongues, but this is due not so much to inability. As to the lack of attention paid to the matter at the beginning of the study of the language, it should be understood that the names of the tongues are those of the original tongues and often bear no relation to the inflection now used, which varies in different localities. Complete list of initials and finals used in the Shanghai dialect. San Lu Zimu, Zimu. Initial sounds. P pronounces p as in ba de. Ph pronounces pa as in po pe. B pronounces b as in de de. Apostrophe M pronounces m as in. Me, Ming. M pronounces m as in ma, Ming. Apostrophe V pronounces v as in va. F pronounces f as in fa, feng. V pronounces v as in va. Vn. T pronounces t as in de. Th pronounces th as in the te. D pronounces d as in de de. Ts pronounces. T S H pronounces s as in t. D Z pronounces z as in z z. S pronounces s as in s 
s z pronounces z as in z z apostrophe l pronounces l as in ling lu l pronounces l as in la lu apostrophe n pronounces as in ne no n pronounces n as in na no apostrophe n y pronounces n as in ne ne n y pronounces n as in ne ni Apostrophe n g pronounces m as in nye. N g pronounces m as in nye. K pronounces k as in ga ga. K h pronounces ka as in ka ka. G pronounces g as in ga. Ky pronounces t as in ch ch. Ch pronounces ch as in ch ch. J pronounces g as in j j. Kw pronounces k as in k. K H W pronounces k as in qu que. G W pronounces qu as in que que. I pronounces i as in i yo. Y pronounces y as in Ye, yo. Apostrophe W pronounces w as in we, we. W pronounces w as in wa, we. H pronounces h as in ha, hang. HY pronounces as in sh, shing. H W pronounces h, as in h, hung. Invert comma, as in ha, hung. Yin yun, vowel sounds and finals. A pronounces a, as in a, sa. A N G pronounces on, as in yang, sang. A K pronounces a, as in a, sa. A N pronounces an, as in a, C. A H pronounces a as in a, sa. E pronounces e as in e, c. E N pronounces ang as in ang. E H pronounces e as in k. C. I pronounces e as in e, she. I n pronounces ian as in ian, shen. I n g pronounces ing as in ing, shing. 
I H pronounces i as in i sh. A U pronounces o as in o so. A U N G pronounces on as in yang sang. A U H pronounces o as in o so. O pronounces u as in o su. OK pronounces o as in o su. OO pronounces u as in u su. OONG pronounces on as in on song. OE pronounces u as in su su. OEN pronounces un as in u su. OEH pronounces u as in u su. EU pronounces o as in o so. UNG pronounces un as in un sung. UH pronounces a uh, as in a uh, sa. U pronounces u as in z s. UI pronounces u as in u sh. UIN pronounces un as in yun shun. IA pronounces ya as in ya xia. IANG pronounces yang as in yang xiang. IAK pronounces ya as in ya xia. IAU pronounces yo as in yo xiu. IEU pronounces yu as in yu shu. Doyongsmu consonants used as words. M pronounces m as in m m. TS pronounces z as in z z. TSH pronounces t as in t t. DZ pronounces z as in z. S pronounces s as in s s. Z pronounces z as in z z. Apostrophe R pronounces r as in r. R pronounces r as in r r. N G pronounces Mm, as in n n u. The student should practice repeating after the teacher the pronunciation of the characters in which these sounds occur. Exercising tongues. Sounding sound, upper even sound, as in do, ba, si. Wu bing sheng, lower even sound, as in do, ba, xi. Zang zang sheng, upper rising sound, as in do, ba, xi. Wu zang sheng, lower rising sound, as in do, ba, ji. Zang qi sheng. Upper going sound, as in do, ba, xu. Wu qi sheng, lower going sound, as in do, ba, xia. Sang zeng sheng, upper entering sound, as in do, ba, xie. 
wu zeng zeng, lower entering sound, as in du, ba, zhe. The student should practice upon the sounds illustrating the different tones. The columns should be read from the top down. The teacher can guide him by first pronouncing the Chinese characters. End of the description of the Shanghai Romanized system. Recording by Shyan Arrowsmith. Lesson one of Lessons in the Shanghai Dialect by Francis Lister Hawkes Port. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Shyan Arrowsmith. Lesson one: The Classifier. A or N is translated into Chinese by the numeral ye. One and a classifier placed between the numeral and the noun. There are over forty classifiers, different nouns taking different ones according to the class to which they belong. Nouns being generally used with classifiers accounts for the fact that in Pidgin English we have the oft recurring expression one PC. Most concrete nouns take classifiers, but not all. Exceptions will be pointed out later on. Sometimes, when the object spoken of is quite definitely known, the noun is used without the classifier. In this lesson, the two most common classifiers will be introduced, and in succeeding lessons, the others will appear gradually. It must be remarked that some nouns may take more than one classifier; sometimes one being used and sometimes another. The most common classifier is g. It is applied to such nouns as have no special classifier and may, upon occasion, be applied to almost any noun as a substitute for the special classifier. Quoted Metier. The classifier z is used with animals, birds, fowls, insects, also with articles of furniture have legs or resting on a base. Also with vessels, boats, etc. Vocabulary: a man, 一个人 a woman, 一个女人 literally female human being, a teacher, 一个西藏 literally born before, a child, 一个小女 an egg, 一个蛋 a cash, 一个铜的 See second note at the end of lesson. A dollar, 一个洋的 A servant, 一个佣人 A table, 一只凳子 A chair, 一只椅子 An orange, 一只橘子 A pupil, 一个学生子 To want. To wish, your, also used in forming the future tense of verbs, as will be explained later. Exercises, translate into English. One, 一个人有一只凳子 A man wants a table. Two, 一个女人有一只椅子 A woman wants a chair. Three, 一个小女有一个铜的 A child wants a cash. Four, 一个学生子有一个西藏 A student wants a teacher. Five, 一个佣人有一个蛋 A servant wants an egg. Six, 一个佣人有一个养的 A servant wants a dollar. Seven, 一个小女有一只橘子 
A child wants an orange. Translate into Chinese. One, a pupil wants an orange. 一个我想自由再去自。Two, a woman wants a dollar. 一个女人要一个洋的。Three, a servant wants a cash. 一个佣人要一个铜的。Four, a teacher wants a table. 一个先生要一只凳子。Five, a man wants an egg. 一个人要一个蛋。Six, a pupil wants a chair. 一个学生只要一只椅子 Seven, a teacher wants a pupil. 一个先生要一个学生子 Note, note one. It is difficult to form idiomatic sentences in Chinese until a larger vocabulary has been given. Note two: with yang di, the classifier generally used is kue, a piece or slice. Note three: it will be noticed how many words are formed from the combination of two or more words. This is a characteristic of the Chinese language. For instance, the word "yong ying" is composed of the verb "yong," meaning "use," and the word "ying," "man," and means the man whom you use or employ. Note four: with "xi san," the classifier "we" is generally used. Note five: nouns take no change in form for the plural. But the classifier is omitted. Note six: with "yi zi," the classifier "bu" is sometimes used. End of lesson one. Recording by Shyan Arrowsmith. Lesson two of Lessons in the Shanghai Dialect by Francis Lister Hawksport. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Shyan Arrowsmith. Lesson two, demonstrative and personal pronouns. The definite article, the, the, is not expressed directly in Chinese, but the demonstrative pronoun takes its place. The demonstrative pronouns are, this or these, diga, that. Or those, either. The demonstrative pronouns change their forms with different nouns being formed by the de or ye, and the classifier belonging to the noun. Thus, this table is not de ga de zi, but de zi de zi. When the demonstrative is used with a numeral, it retains the form de ga or i ga, and the classifier of the noun comes between the numeral and the noun. Thus, this one table is de ga i zi de zi. The personal pronouns are as follows: singular number, nominative and objective. The first person, I or me. No. The second person, thou, thee, or you, no. The third person, he, she, it, him, her, he. Possessive. The first person, my or mine, no. The second person, thy, thine, or yours, no. The third person, his, hers, its, he. Plural number. 
nominative and objective. The first person, we or us. Ni or ngu ni. The second person, you or ye. Na. The third person, they or them. Yi la. Possessive. The first person, ours. Ni ga, ngu ni ga. The second person, your or yours. Na ga. The third person, their or theirs. Yi la ga. The use of ga in the possessive case must be noted. Ka serves to form the possessive case of nouns as it does of pronouns. Thus, to say a man's table would be exercises in possessive case formation will be found in this lesson. Vocabulary: a son, a daughter, a a friend, a a sheep, it's a yang. A bird, it's a nyo. A bed, it's a zang. Bu is the classifier used with tools, instruments, or articles grasped in the hand. A knife or sword, iputo. A fork, iputu. A spoon, iputo. An umbrella, ipu se. To have or has, yu. Exercises. Translate into English. One. Wu yo ipu to. I want a knife. Two. Diga ning yu zi yang di. This person has a money. Three. Nong a bang yu a ni zi yu zi yang. The son of your friend has a sheep. Four. Yi a nu ning a nu yu zi nyo. The daughter of his woman wants a bird. Five. Yo ipuse. He or she wants an umbrella. Six. Mu yo iputu. I want a fork. Seven. Nong yo itsasang. You want a bed. Eight. Na yu ikwe yandi. You have a dollar. Nine. Diga shi sang yu za chutsu. This teacher has an orange. Ten. Ye yong ni yu yaga de. His or her servant has an egg. Translate into Chinese. One. Your teacher has a table. Nong a shi sang yu za de zi. Two. Your friend has a son. Ngu a bang yu yu yi ga ni zi. Three, their daughter has an umbrella. Ilala nu yu yepu se. Four, they want a bed. Ilala yo itza sang. Five, 
That servant wants a knife. 一个有泥有味不多 Six. This pupil's teacher has a chair. 这个学生住的西上有一只椅子。Seven. My son wants a dollar. 我的儿子要一块洋钿 Eight. He wants a fork. 伊要一部车 Nine. She wants a spoon. 伊要一部锁。Ten. The woman's daughter has an orange. 一个女人的女有一只橘子。Eleven. He has mine. 伊有我的。Twelve. He has yours. He you know that. Notes. Note one. Verbs undergo no change in form for the singular and the plural number. Tense formation will be explained later. Note two. The verb you. Is often used for the expression "there is." Thus, "you 一个人要铜的 means there is a man who wants cash. Note three, "you" means some. Thus, "you 一个人 is some man. Note four, sometimes the "g" is omitted, and we have. Yuning, thus, yuning your yandi means some man won dollars. End of lesson two. Recording by Shyan Arrowsmith. Lesson three of lessons in the Shanghai dialect by Francis Lister Hawksport. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Shyan Arrowsmith. Lesson three: The numerals up to one hundred. One, ye. Two, ni. Or, liang. Three, se. Four, si. Five. Mm. Six lo. Seven ch. Eight ba. Nine ju. Ten sa. From ten to twenty, the numerals are formed by adding the digitals after ten. Eleven. Say ye. Twelve, say ye. Etc. Fifteen, say pronounced say. Twenty, ye. In speaking of the day of the month, ni sa is used. Thirty, say sa. Literally three tenths. The Z sound in Z becomes S when preceded by another word. Forty, s s. Fifty, n s. Sixty, l s. Seventy, ch s. Eighty, b s. Ninety, 
Juice. One hundred. Yeppa. The intervening numbers between twenty and thirty, etc., are formed regularly by adding the digits to the decimals. Thus, twenty-one is nye ye. Thirty-one is seize ye. Etc. Thirty-five is pronounced seizeng. In using the numeral with the noun, the classifier of the noun is introduced between the numeral and the noun. Thus, four men is seizeng, not seizeng. Six chairs is luoyizi, not luoyizi. In speaking of a thing well understood, the noun is often omitted, and we have simply the numeral with the classifier as loga, sza, etc. Vocabulary: a cow, it's a new, a native, you got bandining, a foreigner. 一个牙国人 literally outside kingdom man. Children, 小女 a large box or trunk, it's a 箱子 a small box, it's a 盒子 a fan, 一部梳子 a broom. It puts out a teapot. It puts out to be is are is exercises. Translate into English. One. I want three boxes. I want three boxes. I want three boxes. Two. The bushes is long. This fan is yours. Three. You need a His or her son has a box. Four. I want a box. My teacher wants a teapot. Five. Says it's a young sea. Thirty-one sheep are his or hers. Six. You eat a new sea. Twenty-seven cows are his or hers. Seven. A cow has two legs. That foreigner has two chairs. Eight. Sesa zega za. Thirty is three tenths. Nine. Epa zega za. One hundred is ten tenths. Ten. 上个人又上只台子。Fifteen people have fifteen tables. Eleven. 先生是本地人，我是外国人。The teacher is a native, and I am a foreigner. Twelve. 用英语一部手机。The servant wants a broom. Translate into Chinese. One, he wants three teapots. He wants a broom. Two, four pupils want four fans. Four fans only have four boxes. Three. This large box is my friend's.
，迭只箱子是我的朋友的。Four, he has thirty knives. He uses a pistol. Five. These five dollars are the pupils. These five dollars are the pupils. Six. The teacher has twenty-seven pupils. She has twenty-seven pupils. Seven. These two fans are his. These two fans are his. Eight. That small box is the foreigners. This box is the foreigners. Nine, six tens are sixty. Logasa is losa. Ten. My friend has five children, three sons, and two daughters. My friend has five children, three sons, and two daughters. 三个儿子，两个女。Note: Hatsu is a small box in distinction from xianzi, a large box. But as will be seen later, the adjectives for large and small may also be used with both of these words. End of lesson three. Recording by Shyan Arrowsmith. Lesson four of the lessons in the Shanghai dialect by Francis Lister Hawkes Port. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Shyan Arrowsmith. Lesson four: Adjectives. Certain words in Chinese are distinctly used as adjectives, but many other words, such as nouns, verbs, and adverbs, may be used to qualify nouns. In the expression "do si ning," meaning a scholar, we have the verb "do" to read, and the noun "si," book, qualifying "ning," man. The whole expression being literally. The reading book man. Adjectives may be compared as follows. D is added after the adjective to make the comparative degree, and ding is placed before the adjective to form the superlative degree. Thus, positive degree good is ho. Comparative degree better is ho di. Superlative degree best is ding ho. There are, however, many other ways of expressing the superlative. Thus, we may have ho le shi, which is literally "good come death," that is, "good to the death." This is a very frequent expression. We have also zhu ho or jie ho. Very good is usually. Meho, ho de jie means superlatively good. The adjective ho has a very wide use. Everything that is good, suitable, correct, or proper may be said to be ho. Vocabulary. Good. Ho. Bad. Chu. More often, va ho. Va means not. 
cold， 懒。Hot, 捏 White, 白 Black, 哈 Large, 堵 Small, 小 A scholar. 一个读书人 ，a dog， 一只狗 ，water， 水 ，generally used without a classifier。a horse， 一只马 ，p。Is sometimes used as the classifier for horses. Ben is the classifier for book. A book, 一本书 Dio is the classifier with long, winding, or limber objects. A bridge, 一条桥 A street. 一条街 ，a road， 一条路。To read, to study, 读。To come, 来。To go, 去。Exercises. Translate into English. One. This girl is hot. This dog is good. Two. I want to study. I want to study. I want to read. Three, 我要朗诵 I want cold water. Four, 这只羊是黑的 This sheep is black. Five, 一只牛是白的 That cow is white. Six. 一个本地人有两只黑的马。That native has two black horses. Seven. 我有一个朋友要来。I have a friend who wants to come. Eight. 一个先生要去。That teacher wants to go. Nine. 这个书是热的。This water is hot. Ten. 这条桥是堵的。This bridge is grand. Eleven. This one is small. Twelve. 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 Thirteen. 一本书是先生的，这本书是我的。That book is the teacher's. This book is mine. Fourteen. 这只袋子是小的。
This table is smaller. Fifteen. Did the sounds ding do? This bed is the biggest. Translate into Chinese. One. These five oranges are bad. Two. The teacher wishes me to study. She sang your good dos. Three. The natives' cows are good. Bandining a news hog. Four. I have a white bird. Go you, it's a paganio. Five. I want warm water. Oh, your yes. Six. The dog is very black. It's a good hat. Seven. That bed is smaller. It sounds shorty. Eight. This box is larger. It's a chance to do the. Nine. The teapot is very white. Ipusu's meba. Ten. My teacher will come. Wu shi san yo le. Eleven. The foreigner will go. Yiga nga gu ning yo qi. Twelve. I want a large dog. Oh, you do it, it's a go. Notes. Note 1. Adjectives generally take g after them. The g standing between the adjective and the noun. In some cases, the g is omitted, as in the expression 懒死, cold water. We do not say 懒死. Note 2. Dosi is the common expression for to study. Note 3. In such a sentence as I want warm water, the ngu may be omitted. In speaking to a servant, one would say your langsi. I want hot water. End of lesson 4. Recording by Cheyenne Arrowsmith. Lesson 5 of Lessons in the Shanghai Dialect by Francis Lister Hawksport. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Cheyenne Arrowsmith. Lesson 5. Interrogatives and Negatives. Va is used as the sign of a direct question expecting the answer yes or no. 
it is added at the end of the sentence thus means is this yours means is this good the verb zi being omitted the chinese do not use a rising inflection of the voice to indicate that a question is being asked ma is used for asking a question when the action is presumed to have been completed thus vechama means have you eaten your rice or have you dined shisan chima means has the teacher gone ni is used for asking a question implying the alternative thus non chinavachi are you going or not going non le navale means are you coming or not coming ni is also used in a question expecting a negative answer but the explanation of this may be reserved until later who is sa in this sense it is always joined to the noun ning thus sa ning means who pidgin english who man sa is also used in the sense of what it sometimes precedes the noun as sa san yi what business in a sentence like what do you want it follows the verb thus no yo sa literally you want what sa is also used with va in the sense of any in asking a question thus no yo sa wa means do you want anything you sa ni yo chi wa means does anyone wish to go no yo sa dong di wa means have you any cash which is a li it is always used with numeral and classifier thus Ali Yeganying means which man? Ali Yediolu means which road? Ali Yepensi means which book? Ali Liangputo means which two knives? When a subject is understood about which you are conversing, the noun may be omitted, and "ali" with the numeral and the classifier are sufficient. Thus, in speaking of roads, "ali yedio" would be enough. No or not is expressed by "va." Thus, "iva yochi." Means he does not wish to go. Ma is used in a sense of not any in answering a question asking whether you have any. Thus, non yu sa yang di wa. Have you any dollars? The answer might be ma. Sometimes m sa is used in answering questions in the negative. Thus, no yu sa tsu wa. Have you anything to do? Have you any employment? The answer might be m sa tsu. Not anything to do. No one is m sa ning. Thus, yu sa ning le wa. Has anyone come? The answer might be. Unsaning. Vocabulary. Rice growing. Do. Rice uncooked. Mi. Rice cooked. 
the a hat, cap, or bonnet. Eating moz or it's a moz. A carpenter. Yiga mojia. Literally, good worker. A hand. It's a so. A foot. It's a chi. Keng is the classifier denoting object long and generally stiff. A king or stick. It keng bang. Su is the classifier for hills and buildings. A house. Yizu wang zi. Sometimes. Yizu wang zi. Se is the classifier for broad objects. A door. Yise meng. To eat. Eats. Eat. Chi. To invite, invites, invite. Ching. Also used in the sense of please when making a request of anyone. To take. Da. Or. No. To call, cause, call. Jiao. To open, opens, open. Ke. To shut, shuts, shut. Gui. To do, does, perform, make. Zu. To enter, enters, come in. Qing. Exercises translated into English. One. 一个西山为什么 Has that teacher dined? Two. 我要请一位西山 I want to invite a teacher. Three. Kekemeng. Open the door. Four. Diga chosa. What is this called? Five. Kuemeng. Close the door. Six. The bang is something that leg. Who brought this book? Seven. Ali is going to bang the nong. Which stick is yours? Eight. Ali is a wang zi zi yi. Which house is it his or hers? Nine. Sanning down here. Who took it away? Ten. Ying you liang zi so liang zi jie. A human or a man has two hands and two feet. Eleven. Nong yu sa san yi zu wa. Do you have any business to do? Twelve. Wu mu sa san yi zu. I don't have any business to do. Thirteen. Nong jiu sa. What's your name? What are you called?
14. You saying ching leva? Um saying. Has anyone entered? No one. 15. No more zi yeva? Mma. Do you have a hat? No. Translate into Chinese. 1. Have the children eaten their rice? 小女孩吃吗? Two. Which cow is yours? Ali it's a news nonga. Three. Which bird is black? Ali it's a news haga. Four. Bring the hot water. Five. Bring the boiling water. Five. Six. Please come in. Ching ching le. Seven. Who did it? Saning tsuwa. Eight. Who brought it? Sani Taleg. Nine. Who took it away? Saning Tachia Ten Who wants it? Saning Yoga Eleven who entered? Saning Ching Lega. Twelve. Who opened the door? Saning Kemen. Thirteen. Who shut the door? Saning Kuemeng. Fourteen. Which table is yours? Ali it's a dead zizinong fifteen 
fifteen. What do you want? Nong yo sa. Sixteen. Have you anything to eat? Nong yu sa chava. Seventeen. I have nothing to eat. Um sacha. Eighteen. Have you any oranges? Nong yu sacha tsuva. Nineteen. I have. You are. Twenty. I have none. Ma. Notes, note one. Note the difference between ching, jiu, and he. Ching is used in speaking to an equal or to a superior. Jiu is speaking to a servant. He is even more curt than jiu. Thus, ching yi le means invite him to come. And it's the polite form of speech if you wish an equal to come to you. Jiu yi le, or he yi le, would be used if you tell someone to call your servant or workman to you. Note two, notice the repetition of the ke in the third sentence of the first exercise. This makes it more emphatic. Note three. The verbs da, take, and le, come, are often used together in the sense of bring, literally take, come. So also with da and qi, this means take away, literally take, go. Sometimes the da and le, and the da and the qi, are separated from one another by other words in a sentence. Thus, da si le means bring the books. The above remarks also hold true for no. Note four. In the sixth sentence of the first exercise, the words. De beng si stand first. This is because they are emphatic. It is difficult to give any hard and fast rule in regard to the order of words in a Chinese sentence. But generally speaking, we may say that the most emphatic word is placed first. In this sentence, it is the book which is being talked about, and so it occurs first. Note five. The words in the thirteenth sentence of the first exercise would only be addressed to a servant or a child. What are you called means what is your name, not what is your surname. In polite phraseology, in speaking to a person, the pronoun "nong" is never employed. The third person is used instead of the second. To ask your teacher his name, you would say "Zheng Xing," which means "What is your honourable name, surname?"
if you wish to inquire further as to his other name, you would say, Qing Jiu Dao, which means, Please tell me your great official name. The requirements of etiquette as to the use of words will be explained later somewhat fully. Note 6. In the fifth sentence of the second exercise, the expression boiling water is used. For this, the words ke open and si water are used. It signifies that boiling water is open water on account of the bubbles which proceed from it. End of lesson 5. Recording by Cheyenne Arrowsmith. Lesson 6 of Lessons in the Shanghai Dialect by Francis Lister Hawksport. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Cheyenne Arrowsmith. Lesson 6. Some Remarks on the Verb. In a monosyllabic language like the Chinese, the words themselves are never inflected, and therefore the moods and the tenses of the verbs are formed by the addition of auxiliary words to mark the change of meaning. We will take the verb ch to illustrate. Indicative mood Present tense, simple form, I eat ngu ch Present tense, continuous, I am eating. Past tense, simple form, I ate. Past tense, continuous, I was eating. Past tense emphatic form, I did eat. Perfect tense, I have eaten. Past tense, I had eaten. Future tense, I will or shall eat. The future perfect tense cannot be expressed directly. The only change for the different persons is the above will be in the use of the pronouns of the different persons. Imperative mood. Ch. Ch. Matsu. Participles. Present. Eating. Ch. Past. Having eaten. Ch. A few words of explanation are necessary. The use of le li and le la are a little difficult to understand at first. As stated, wu le li ch means I am eating. If, however, a third person asked your servant, Xi san vechima. Has the teacher eaten his rice? The servant would answer, if you were still eating, yi le la che. Meaning, he is eating. If you yourself said, wu le la che. It would mean, I was eating. In a perfect tense, the word go means literally to pass over. In a past perfect, the words yi jing mean already. The real force of le li 
is here, and the real force of le la is there. There are a great many ways of expressing completed action in Chinese. These will be explained later. In this lesson, one of the most common will be explained. It is by the use of the adjective ho after the verb. Thus, chi ho zi means I have finished eating. Do ho zi means I have finished reading. Ho good is also used before the verb to qualify it. Thus, we have the expressions "ho sugar," meaning "good to eat," "ho doga," easy to read, "ho tsuwa," easy to do, etc. Vocabulary: to arrive, "do," to give by hand. To buy, ma. To speak, wu. To burn or cook, so. To learn, ho. A table boy, yi ge xi zhe. A horse boy or coachman. A pair. It's a sunny. A peach. It's a dozi. A tailor. A seven. China or Chinese. Zhongguo. Literally, Middle Kingdom. Shanghai. Zanghe. Ji is the classifier denoting garments, pieces of baggage and merchandise, and also an affair. A garment. Yi ji yi zang. Zang is the classifier denoting pairs. A pair of shoes. Yi zang a zi. A pair of socks or stockings, isama. New, xin. Old, jiu. Or, lo. Of persons, only lo is used. Lo. Is old as to time, jiu. Generally means worn out, in bad condition. Lo is often used as a title of respect, meaning venerable. Exercises translate into English. One. Wu yo ho wu zhong guo wu. I want to learn to speak Chinese. Two. Wu yo ho do zhong guo si. I want to learn to read Chinese books. Three. Nong yo do si wa. Do you want to read books? Do you want to study? Four. It's a xiangzi da qi wa. Is that box taken away? Five. Jiu yi qi ma zhe. Have called him or her to go. Six. Yi ge mu fu yo ma xie zhe mu.
That coachman wants to buy three horses. 7. Wu Ba Ying Kui Yang Di Zhou Yi Mai Zi Yang. I gave him or her five dollars and told him or her to buy a goat. 8. Wu Yi Qing Wu Gu Zi. I have spoken. 9. Zanghe Do Gu Xie Ma. Have you been in Shanghai? 10. Do Gu Xie Zhe. I have been. 11. Wu Wei Yi Zhang Se Wen Zu Ge Ma. Has the tailor done my garment? Twelve. Yi Le La Zu. He is working on it. Thirteen. No Chu Ho Zi Wei Yo Zu Sa. What do you want to do after eating dinner? Fourteen. Chihou zi wei you dosi. After eating dinner, I want to read books. Fifteen. Wo you qi mai san xin a zi. I want to go to buy a pair of new shoes. Sixteen. Where so home? Has the rice been cooked? Seventeen. So hotze. Cooked. Eighteen. Lo Xi San Jo Xi Zi Qi Ma San Li. The old teacher told the table boy to buy pear. Nineteen. Jo Yi Le Zu Ma Zi. Call him to come to do. Twenty. Diga zu gu xie ma. Zu gu xie ge. Have you ever done this before? I have. Translate into Chinese. 1. I have already read this book. De Peng Si Ngu Yi Jin Do Gu Zhe. Two. Do you want to buy a dog? It's a girl, your mother. Three. When I arrive at Shanghai, I wish to buy an umbrella. Do zi zang he ngu yo ma bu yang se. Four. Has my friend come? Ngu wa bang yu le ma? Five. I gave him four dollars and told him to buy a table. Wu Ba Yi Si Kui Yang Di Zhou Yi Qi Mai Zi Dai Zi. Six. The teacher is eating his dinner. Xi 
西山来了吃饭。Seven. I have already given him ten dollars. I have already paid him ten dollars. Eight. Come along. Let me see. Nine. When the teacher has come, call me. She sent a letter to me. Ten. 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 Eleven. I have eaten them. Chakusha te. Twelve. Those pupils are studying Chinese. One old man came to read Chinese. Thirteen. The foreign teacher is learning to speak Chinese. Ngako si sang le la ho zong guo. Notes. Note one. China is known by many different names. The most common is Zong Guo. We also have Da Qingguo. The Great Pure Kingdom, Zongwu. The Middle Civilized Kingdom, and Sapasa. The eighteen provinces. Used of China proper without its dependencies. A modern name is Zina. It represents the sound of China, and was much used by the Reform Party. The name adopted for the Republic of China is Zhongguomingguo. The Middle Civilized People's Kingdom. Note two. In the ninth sentence of the first exercise, the force of the do is visiting the place for the first time. Note three. In the twentieth sentence of the first exercise, the meaning is. Have you ever done this before? Note four. In the ninth sentence of the second exercise, you use the past participle, 例子 After it, m. Is often used for euphony. Thus, the sentence would be. She sent a letter to me. Note five. In the twelfth sentence of the second exercise, si is added after Zhongguo. The meaning is. The pupils are studying Chinese books. Note six. In the thirteenth sentence of the second exercise, the foreign teacher would be 
ngà cô si sang. Ngà cô. Is used as an adjective. End of lesson six. Recording by Shaya Rosmith. Lesson seven of Lessons in the Shanghai Dialect by Francis Lister Hawkes Port. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Shaya Rosmith. Lesson seven. Prepositions and postpositions and common connectives. The words expressing the relations of nouns to one another are placed, some of them before and some of them after the governed substantive. At or to is expressed by la. Thus, mo palayi. I gave it to him. To or towards, in the sense of direction, is expressed by do. Thus, moyo to Shanghai. I wish to go to Shanghai. To or towards is also expressed by de. As in the expression to speak to a person, thus, mo de yi wo. I said to him. From is expressed by song. Thus, Wu Song Sang He Le. I came from Shanghai. With is expressed by Da. Or Dong. Thus, Wu Da Yi Ba Wu. Or Wu Dong Yi Ba Wu. I talked with him. Instead of is t or de t. Thus, mu de t zu. I do it instead of him. The idea of doing it for a person is expressed by da. Thus, mu de t zu. I will do it for him. Ing is expressed by placing la or le la before the noun and li or li xiang after the noun. Thus, la wang zi li means in the house. La xiang zi li means in a box. On is expressed by placing la or le la before the noun and la after it. Thus, la lu la means on the road. La de zi la means on the table. Nga means out. The usual expression is ngā dō, outside. It follows the noun. Other prepositions will be introduced later. The most common connective is lō, and corresponds quite closely to our use of and. Thus, mu yō mā zi lō mā means I wish to buy shoes and stockings. Nouns are often placed beside one another without any connective between them. Tatsu is used much in the same sense as lo. Also is az or a. Thus, tiga az hoga means this also is good. Mu ayo ma. Means I also wish to buy. Mu e yo ma. Means I still wish to buy. Vocabulary. A city. Izu san. 
a school. 一个学堂 A hat. 一顶帽子 A head. 一个头 A foot. 一只脚 A hand. 一只手 A heart. 一个心 Father. 牙 Mother. 娘 A body. 一个身体 Home. 屋里 To sit. 坐 To live, dwell. 死 To wear. 扎 To place. 放把 To use. 用 To wear on the head. 打 Exercises. Translate into English. One. 三人不来也 Who gave it to him or her? Two. 一个也不来也 His or her father gave it to him or her. Three. 这个要带到屋里去 This needs to be taken home. Four, 帽子要戴了头上 The hat needs to be worn on the head. Five, 鞋子要扎了脚上 The shoes need to be worn on the feet. Six. 衣裳要扎了身上。The garment needs to be worn on the body. Seven. 先生死了顺利吗 ？Does the teacher live in the city? Eight. 学生子要到学堂里去。The students wish to go to school. Nine. 我叫西仔，把我衣裳了箱子里。I told the table boy to put my garment in the box. Ten. 先生从外国到中国来。The teacher came from foreign country to China. Eleven, 先生叫小囡用心读书 The teacher told the child to study diligently. Twelve, 不要坐了床上，要坐了椅子上 Don't sit in bed, but sit on the chair. Thirteen. 书放了台子了。Put the book on the table. Fourteen. 朋友已经来，各自落去在。The friend has already come and gone. 
Fifteen. 山里是好吃的，稻子也是好吃的。The pear is nice to eat. The peach is nice to eat too. Sixteen. This little girl is not my friend. This child has no parents. Seventeen. 啥人在学堂里？先生得早上子。Who are in the school? Teachers and students. Eighteen. 侬还要买啥伐？不要。Do you still wish to buy anything? No. Translate into Chinese. One, I place the knives and the forks on the table. 刀叉我放了台子上。Two, who lives in this house? Mr. Zhang. 啥人住了这个房子里？张先生。Three. The father and mother wish the child to study. 爷娘要伊个小囡读书。Four. Do you live in the city or out of the city? 侬住了城里呢，还是城外 ？Five. The cat is on the table. 猫辣台子浪。Six. Take it in your hand. 戴了手里。Seven. Keep it in mind. Place it on your heart. 放了心了 Eight. The heart is in the body. 心来了身体里 Nine. That child has no shoes on his feet. 一个小囡脚上没鞋子。Ten. That man has no hat on his head. 一个人头上没帽子。Eleven. To whom do the cows and sheep belong? 牛、鹿、羊是啥人呢 ？Twelve. When you have put on your clothes, come and eat. 扎好子衣裳落来吃。Thirteen. The horse boy wishes to feed the horse also. 马夫也要拨马吃。Fourteen. You and I are friends. 侬得知我是朋友。Fifteen. Have you ever been to foreign countries? 外国去过些不 ？Notes. Note one. There are many different ways of saying father and mother, but these will have to be explained later. Note two. Long.
is really the character Zhang. It has the letter sound when used in the adverb above, which is sound. Note three. The seventh sentence of the first exercise is correct grammatically, but would not be used in polite speech. The usual way of asking a gentleman where he lives is to say, "Xi san fu la la li." Note four. In the eleventh sentence of the first exercise, the expression "yong xin." Means to be diligent, or to pay attention. Note five. In the second sentence of the second exercise, Mr. Zhang is translated Zhang Xisang. Zhang is a common surname in Chinese. The Xisang follows the surname. Note six. Dong is generally used with ido. Dong coming before the noun and ido after it. Thus, Wu Dong Wu Bang Yu Ido Duo Zhang He Qi. I. And my friend, together, go to Shanghai. End of lesson seven. Recording by Shyan Arrowsmith. Lesson eight of lessons in the Shanghai dialect by Francis Lister Hawkes Port. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Shyan Arrowsmith. Lesson eight: Potential and subjunctive moods, and some interrogative adverbs. May or can is expressed by "ku yi." Thus, I may or can eat is "wo ku yi cha." When physical ability is implied, "neng ge" is frequently used. Thus, I have the physical ability to do is. When acquired ability is to be expressed, we is generally used. Thus, I have the ability to speak Chinese. Is wu wei wu zhong gu. The subjunctive mood is expressed exactly like the indicative mood, except that some word meaning if is placed at the beginning of the clause, and that the particle ma. Is generally placed at the end of the clause. If is za, za si, za zu, tang zu, tang si. Thus, if I go, I will call you. Is expressed za zu mu qi ma wo yo jiao nong. Very often, the word implying if is omitted at the beginning of the clause, and the condition is implied simply by the use of the ma at the end of the clause. Thus, when he has finished it, come and tell me. Is it how ma le ding wu wu? How is na neng? Thus, how do you know? Is no na neng xiao da. When is 几日 Thus, when did you come? Is 侬几日来个 When did you arrive? Is 侬几日到 Beginners in Chinese often make the mistake of using 几日 as the ordinary adverb of time to express such a sentence as "When I come, he will go." We say. The past participle being used and m implying that it is conditional, it is incorrect to say 
mochi zi le yi yo qi. Let it be remembered that qi zi is only used in asking a question. We have the qi zi used after the verb in such a sentence as nong do zi qi zi zi, meaning how long since you arrived, or yi qi zi qi zi zi, meaning how long since he went. Vocabulary. To sell, ma, or ma ta. To see, ku, or seen, ku ji. To walk, zo. To run, bo. To know, short. To know a person, ning. To understand, dong. Or, ming ba. A pagonda is a ta. A sedan chair, it ting jo zi. A visitor or guest, it we kaning. A doctor, it we lang zong. Or. 一位医生 ，a grave mound， 一座坟穴 ，a mouth， 一个口 ，or， 一张纸 ，a doorway， mouth of the door。一个门口，我一个门口的。An ear， 一只耳朵。A nose， 一个鼻头。An eye， 一只眼睛。A face, 一个面孔。Bu is the classifier used with carriages and vehicles on wheels. A carriage, 一部母车。A rickshaw, 一部东洋车。Literally, east of the ocean carriage, Japan is known as the land east of the ocean, and rickshaws were first used there. A wheelbarrow, ibu tsuzi, or shortu, short, du. Long, long, fast, quick, slow, slow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Exercises translated into English. One, no ming ba ba, ba ming ba. Do you understand? No, I don't understand.
to. 中国话侬会话伐？我勿会话。Can you speak Chinese? No, I can't. Three. 中国书侬会读伐？我勿会读。Can you read Chinese books? No, I can't. Four. 请先生明早来。Ask the teacher to come tomorrow. Five. 侬几时可以去？我明早可以去。When can you go? I can go tomorrow. Six. 迭只马勿能够跑得快。This horse can't run fast. Seven. 实在先生来嘛，侬对伊话，我上海去载。If the teacher comes, tell him I've gone to Shanghai. Eight. 去叫一部东洋车。Go and call a rickshaw. Nine. 迭座塔侬看见些吗 ？Have you seen the pagoda? Ten. 木匠树枝小车子到上海去载。The carpenter went to Shanghai by car. Eleven. 迭个人侬认得伐？勿认得。Do you know this person? No, I don't know. Twelve. 侬哪能去呀？我坐马车去呀。How did you go? I went by carriage. Thirteen. 要侬去请医生来。I want you to go and ask the doctor to come. Fourteen. 请先生下来买点。Ask the teacher to speak slowly. Fifteen. 实在先生下来快嘛，我不懂。If the teacher speaks fast, I will not be able to understand. Sixteen. 迭根棒是长个，迭把刀是短个。This stick is long. This knife is short. Seventeen. 客人到子门口头，请伊里向坐。When the visitor arrives at the door, ask him to come in and sit. Eighteen. This little girl's eyes are very good. Nineteen. That child's face is nice looking. Nineteen. You have two eyes, two eyes, two eyes, and a nose, a nose, and a mouth, and a nose, and a mouth. A man has two ears, two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. Twenty. This house is already sold. This house has been sold. Translate into Chinese. One. Please take a seat. 请坐。Two. When will that teacher come? 一个先生几时要来 ？Three. 
He said he will come tomorrow. Yi Wu Yi Min Zuo Yao Le. Four. Have you seen my dog? Wu Yi Zhe Ge Nong Ke Ji Xie Ma. Five. Ask the visitor to come in. Qing Kan Ning Jing Le. Six. The sheep is on the grave mound. Did the young love and say long? Seven. I wish to ride in a sedan chair and go into the city. I have no choice but to leave. Eight. When the doctor comes, come and call me. Eason Lei Zi Ma Lei Jiao Wu. Nine. Call two rickshaws. Qi Jiao Liang Bu Dong Yang Chu. Ten. How long have you been in China? Nong dao zhi zhong guo ji zhi. Eleven. If men had no eyes, they would not be able to see. Sa zhu ning men ye jing yi la wen neng ge ke ji. Twelve. If the pupil is not diligent, he will not be able to learn Chinese. Sa zhu wo san zi wa yong xing, yi wa wei wo zong guo wu. Thirteen. I do not know how to say this. Di ge mu wa xiu de na neng wu wu. Fourteen. When will the doctor come? Yi shang ji zi yao le. Fifteen. Tomorrow he will come. Yi ming zuo yao le. Sixteen. The road to Shanghai is very long. To Shanghai, lose me Shang. Nineteen. The child runs very fast. This child runs very fast. Twenty. The child runs very fast. Do you know my friend? I don't. Wu Bang Yu Nu Ning Da Wa Wu Ning Da. Notes. Note one. In the sixth sentence of the first exercise, notice that the adjective Qua is turned into an adverb by the L. Coming before it, adjectives are often used with verbs in this way. Note two: In the twelfth sentence of the first exercise, notice the expression for traveling in a carriage. In Chinese, you sit a carriage. Note three: In the first sentence of the second exercise. We have the usual polite expression for asking one to be seated, Qing Zhu. This should be said as soon as a guest or stranger enters the room, but of course is not used in speaking to inferiors. In such cases, it is enough to say Zhu Zhu. Note four. Notice the difference between Ma, to buy, 
and ma to sell. To our ears, the sounds are hard to distinguish. The only difference is in the tones. Note five: the new term for rickshaw is wang bo chu, a yellow running carriage. End of lesson eight. Recording by Shia Arrowsmith. Lesson nine of Lessons in the Shanghai Dialect by Francis Lister Hawkes Port. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Shia Arrowsmith. Lesson nine: The use of za, reduplication of verbs, reflexive pronouns. In expressing the carrying of the action of the verb into effect, za is often used after it. Thus, xing za means that a thing has been actually found. Xing means to find. There are a great many active verbs which can take the za. After them, for example, we have "daza," meaning a thing has been obtained. "Da" means to get. "Banza" means a person or thing has been met. "Ba" means to strike against. Verbs are often repeated for emphasis. We have had an example of this in the expression "zo zo," meaning "sit down." Thus, "ku ku" means "look look." In many cases, "ye" is inserted between the verbs, as "ku ye ku." In such cases, the last verb is changed into a verbal noun. Literally, it would be "look a look." The reflexive personal pronouns hardly require any explanation. They are formed by adding "zga" after the personal pronouns. Thus, I myself would be "wo zga." You yourself would be non zga, and so on for the rest. Vocabulary to teach. Go to write. Xia to ask. Men. To pay. Fu. To build. So. To look for. Xing. To hear. Ting. Or heard. Ting ji. To know a Chinese character, sa. To strike against, ba. To get, da. A mason, 一个女士讲 ，a water buffalo. It's a snow. An apple. It's a bingo. A dining table. It's a chavedez. An office desk. It's a shazedez. A Chinese character. Igas. A drawer of a table. It's a toti. It's a toto. 
an unmarried woman. 一个学家 T. 数 Now. 现在 Not yet. Wasn. Still not yet. Evasion. Why? Why? Or? Why? Lo? Because? In way. Or? Why? In using in way. The particle lo is generally added at the end of the clause. Thus, why did you not go? Because I did not want to go. Is. 侬为啥不去？因为我不要去了。Exercises. Translate into English. One, 请先生教我读中国诗。Ask the teacher to teach me reading Chinese books. Two, 现在我要学写中国字。Now I want to learn writing Chinese characters. Three. 侬买这只写字台动力火吗？不成。You have bought a desk. Have you paid money? I haven't. Four. 这个字我不识。This character I don't know. Five. 实在侬勿识嘛，可以问先生。If you don't know, you can ask the teacher. Six. 房子造好吗？还勿成。Has the house been built? Still not yet. Seven. 我的手指，请侬带我寻寻看。My fan, please you look for it for me. Eight, 手指已经寻着在。The fan has already been found. Nine, 侬为啥老不生气？因为我要读书咯。Why you haven't gone yet? Because I want to study. Ten. 请先生吃茶。Ask the teacher to have tea. Eleven. 请先生用茶。Ask the teacher to take tea. Twelve. 实在人没耳朵，伊拉不能够听。If men have no ears, they can't hear. Thirteen. 我不曾到中国来，四女不曾看见些。I have not been China. I haven't seen water buffaloes. Fourteen. You 是这样绑着些吗？不成。Have you met the mason? Not yet. Fifteen. 写字台子上的书是啥人啊？是我自家的。Whose book is it on the desk? It's mine. 
sixteen. 我叫侬放我的衣裳来抽屉里，侬为啥不肯放啊 ？I asked you to put my garment inside the drawer. Why you haven't? Seventeen. 去看看先生来吗？ Go to see if the teacher has come. Eighteen. 我要塞侬寻着吗？寻不着。My umbrella. Have you found it? I couldn't find it. Nineteen. 实在没先生嘛，侬自家可以读书。If there is no teacher, you can study by yourself. Twenty. 要我付铜钱嘛？叫伊拉自家来拿。If I'm asked to pay, ask them to come by themselves to get it. Translate into Chinese. One. Why don't you pay it? No, why is that a fool? Two. Why do you do this? This is no way. That's two. Three. When will you do it? No, this is your two. Four. I don't want it now. Is ever your. Five. When did you go? No, this is cheer. Six. I do not want to go now, but I will go tomorrow. Is ever your chi? Ming zhou your chi. Seven. Does the teacher teach well? Xi san gao le hao wa. Eight. Does the pupil write well? Nine. Why do you not look for my fan? Because I have already found it. No, why is that? I have found my fan. Because I have already found it. Ten. This carpenter can make a dining table. This carpenter can make a dining table. Eleven. Go see if the doctor has come. Check who can eat some lemma. Twelve. They themselves said they wished to build a new house. He has got a new house. He has got a new house. Thirteen. I told the table boy to go to the city and buy me four chairs, a trunk, a bed, and an office desk. 我叫西子到城里去买四把椅子、一只箱子、一只长乐、一只下士台。Fourteen. When the teacher comes, ask him please to be seated and to take some tea. 西上来子么，请伊坐坐咯，吃茶。
fifteen. If one does not study, he is unable to know characters. Such a person is not able to study. He is unable to know characters. Sixteen. My office desk has three drawers. I have six drawers. Seventeen. I have six drawers. This unmarried girl also wishes to study. This shop has many drawers. Eighteen. Have you bought the apples? They cannot be obtained. Pinku ma homa, ma vaza. Nineteen. Do you know whether the guest has already arrived? I do not know. Can you even do? Nong shota va, mo va shota. Twenty. Can you obtain these? They are unobtainable. Diga nong kui ta za va, ta va za. Notes. Note one. In the seventh sentence of the first exercise, notice the ku after the reduplicated verb xing. This gives the force of try to look for it. Look, look, see. Ku is used after many verbs in this way. Thus, zu zu ku. Means try to do it. Xia xia ku. Means try to write it. Wu ku. Means try to say it. Si si ku. Means try to do it. Note two. In the tenth and eleventh sentences. Of the first exercise, we have two ways of asking a person to drink tea. The second is the polite form. Literally, it means that you ask a person to use tea. Note three. In the nineteenth sentence of the first exercise, notice the use of ma for euphony after xi san. And so also in the twentieth after dong di. Note four, in the eighteenth sentence of the first exercise, notice the way in which va comes between the jing and the za. This means seek nor to find, or it cannot be found. So also in the second exercise in the eighteenth sentence, they cannot be obtained should be translated ma vaza. And in the twentieth sentence, they are unobtainable should be da vaza. End of lesson nine. Recording by Shyan Arasmith. Lesson ten of Lessons in the Shanghai Dialect by Francis Lister Hawksport. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Shyan Arrowsmith. Lesson ten: Divisions of time, more adverbs. An hour in Chinese is 一滴钟 or 一个钟头 Literally, one point of the clock. This is a foreign division of time. The Chinese divide the day into twelve periods of two hours each, known as 时针 
Now the divisions into hours has become very familiar. Etizong may also mean one o'clock, and the other hours are indicated in the same way by the change of the numeral. Thus, two o'clock is liang di zong. Two hours would be liang a zong de, or liang di zong gong fu. Three o'clock is xie di zong, etc. A day is usually in ye. The character ye. Literally means sun. In speaking of the heavenly body, in the colloquial do is added to the nie, making the expression nie do. Sometimes the word ti, meaning heaven, is used for day. Thus, si ti. Means three days. No classifier is introduced between the numeral and the nie or the t. Thus, we have for four days, si nie or si t. A week is yi ge li ba or yi li ba. This, of course, is a foreign division of time which has been adopted into Chinese. It takes its name from the name of Sunday, which is usually Li Ba Nie, literally the day of ceremonial worship. Li means ceremony. Ba is to worship. The other days of the week are formed with the addition of the numerals as follows: Monday is Li Ba Ye, Tuesday is Li Ba Ni, Wednesday is Li Ba Se, Thursday Li Ba Si, Friday Li Ba Ng. And Saturday, Li Ba Lo. A new way of expressing the days of the week is by the use of the words Xing Ji, meaning the star period. Thus, Sunday is Xing Ji Nie. Monday, Xing Ji Ye. Tuesday, Xing Ji Ni. And so on for the other days. A month is yi ge yue, literally a moon. The Chinese year is made up of twelve lunar months. The first month is called zheng yue. The second, ni yue. The third, xie yue. And so forth. A year is in yi. No classifier is used between the numeral and the word year. Ni. How many or how much is ji hu? Thus, ji hu ning le means how many men came. Ji hu si means how much water. Ji is often used without the hu. In such cases, it is followed by the classifier of the noun. Thus, how many men came might be ji ning le. How many horses have you? Nong yu ji zan mu. Where is Ali? Thus, where are you going? Is nong do ali qi. Where are you? Is nong la ali. 
sa meaning what with di fang meaning place also expresses where thus sa di fang we also have sa zhang hu meaning what place or where but this refers to a more circumscribed area than di fang we also have a sa wu dang used much in the same way as sa zhang hu vocabulary a fish idiom to return zu le literally to come back zu qi literally to go back to come out or forth cha le to go out cha qi to thank xia near jing today jing zuo yesterday shen ye a painter yi ge qi jiang thus sake or sake neng then used as a conjunction ne ma only biku south nu immediately ju time si sang guang or gong fu but de zi do zi exercises translate into english 1 qing xi san ming zuo ju di zong le ask the teacher to come at 9 o'clock tomorrow 2 qing zuo zi li ba ye ming zuo zi li ba ni Today is Monday, tomorrow is Tuesday. 3. Diga yue yu se san ye. This month has 30 days. 4. Ye li ba yu chen ye. A week has 7 days. 5. Nong a bang yu si la sa di fang. La seng li. La seng li sa zan hu. Jing nu men. Your friend, where does he live? In the city. Where in the city? Near the south gate. 6. Ngu a tu dong fang la a li. Where have you put my knife? 7. Shen ye ngu dou zi ng di zong si, ne ma cha qi zhe lu. Yesterday I studied for five hours and then went out for a walk. 8. Ji ben si zi nong a lo ji ben zi yi ya.
How many books are yours, and how many are his or hers? Nine. 这个人有几个儿子？伊别个有一个。The person has how many sons? He only has one. Ten. 侬到自中国几个月在？我来自三个月。You have arrived in China for how long? I have been here for three months. Eleven. 侬几时要走去？礼拜三要走去。When will you go back? Wednesday, I will go back. Twelve. 上海几时转来的？昨日转来的。When did you come back to Shanghai? I came back yesterday. Thirteen. 侬为啥老不出去走走？因为没功夫咯。Why don't you go out for a walk? Because I don't have time. Fourteen. 谢谢侬去请医生来。Please ask the doctor to come. Fifteen. 我读好子书就要吃饭。After I have studied, I immediately want to eat. Sixteen. Is it this way? It is thus. Translate into Chinese. One. Where have you put my shoes? Two. I put them in the box. I put them in the box. Three. I do not want to study on Sunday, but I will study on Monday. Four. How many weeks are there in a month? One week has seven days. Five. How many peaches have you eaten? Six. How many dollars did you give your servant? Seven. What time is it now? Eight. Where do you live? Nong si la sa di fang. Nine. When you have bought the fish, return immediately. Ten. The guest will stay here four months and then will return. Canning yours is a year. Never to cheat. Eleven. 
Please tell the painter to come. 谢谢侬叫七姐上来。Twelve. The teacher, having taught for three hours, left immediately. 先生告知三点钟功夫就走去。Thirteen. Why do you do it this way? Because the teacher told me to do it thus. No, we saw Saketsu. In which she sang Kongo Saketsu. Fourteen. I wish to do it, but I have no time to do it. 我要做个，但是没功夫。Fifteen. Go see what time it is now. 去看现在几点钟。Notes. Note one. Thank you is expressed by repeating the. 下 Thus, thank you is 下下侬 In speaking to an equal or superior, the 侬 would be dropped. Often in Chinese, when you ask a person to do a thing for you, you preface the request by thanking the person. Thus, 下下侬去打我个伞来。Means thank you. Go bring my umbrella. Note two, Kung Fu has the double sense of work or time. Thus, Zu Kung Fu means to do work, but Ma Kung Fu means I have no time. You never say "sa kung fu," meaning what time, but "sa zhe," "sa zhong guang." In asking what time it is by the clock, the usual expression is "ji di zhong." Note three: the force of the question in the third sentence of the first exercise is due to the fact that some Chinese months have thirty days and some. Have twenty nine. A month of thirty days is called Du Yue, a large month, and one with twenty nine days is called a small month, Xiu Yue. In order to make the seasons come right, an intercalary month is put in about every three years. This in Chinese is called Ning Yue. Note four. Notice the elliptical form of expression in the seventh sentence of the first exercise. Literally, it means "Yesterday I read five hours book." Note five. In the third sentence of the second exercise, the Chinese idiom is peculiar. You say "li ba ye va yo do si li ba ye lo do ga." Literally, Sunday not to want to study. Monday and study. Note six. In the eleventh sentence of the second exercise, the please should be translated 下下侬 End of lesson ten. Recording by Shyan Arrowsmith. Lesson Eleven of Lessons in the Shanghai Dialect by Francis Lister Hawkes Port. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Shyan Arrowsmith. Lesson Eleven: The Passive Voice and Adverbs of Place and Time. But Mandarin Bei is used to form the passive. 
and is the regular and proper form of the passive. Thus, the verb da means to strike. Wo da yi means I strike him. To put this into the passive, we would say wo ba yi da. Literally, I gave him strike, or I was struck by him. Here is expressed by la li or ci di or de de. Ci di means literally this place. There is la la. Or ido, or ikwe. I am here is ngolali. I am there is ngolela. These adverbs are often used as adverbial nouns and may take prepositions before them. Thus, to de de le means come here. Literally, to hear come. Do ido chi means go there. Literally, to there go. Ba la ci di means place it here. Literally, place it at here. Ba la ikwe means place it there. Literally, place it at there. Vocabulary. Half an hour. Bu di zong. Bu means half. Quarter of an hour. Yi ka. A minute. Yi feng. In the morning. Sang pu nye. Literally, above half day. In the afternoon. O pu nye. Literally, lower half day. Night. Ya. At night. Ya de. Or ya li. Day before yesterday. Ku nye tsu. Shi nye tsu. Yin nye tsu. Day after tomorrow. Ho nye. Early in the morning. Zo zeng de. So is early. In the evening, ya kwa. Literally, night coming fast. In the middle of the day or noon, ye zong. To cook. So. To strike. To wait. Deng. Deng ye deng. Means wait a little. To rest. Xie. Xie ye xie. Means wait a little. We also have deng ye xie. To remember, ji or ji da. To forget, mang ji. An affair abstract. Yi ji zi ti or yi zang zi ti. A thing or object concrete. Yi gan ma zi. 
wind phone a load of bread a mosquito it's a manzi or yegamanzi a boat it's a su many much Dohu or do to sting ding to bite ngo to spoil wa or what completely spoil a snake idiosu exercises translate into english 1 ve soho ma soho te has the rice been cooked yes it's done 2 wo wa yi zang de to tsu le bring my garment here 3. Is on to home, Vazen, you shall learn yet to ho. Has the garment been made? Not yet, it takes two days. 4. Ching shi san ming zo san pu nye sati zong le. Ask the teacher to come tomorrow morning at ten o'clock. Five. Vesel hots maju yo Once the rice is cooked, eat immediately. Six. Mo ni li do zong go si ya li do nga go si. I read Chinese books during the day, foreign books at night. Seven. It's a mu wei zi zi le me lo ba la mu fu dang. That horse for walking slowly was beaten by the coachman. 8. Xi ni zi wu le sang he ma zi du hu ma zi. The day before yesterday, I was in Shanghai and bought many things. 9. The Zanzi team would then know who they the Vayopa Yaganin Shota. This affair I tell you, but don't let that person know. Ten. So wasn't this the thing hot or sazon quang? Early in the morning is the best time for studying. Eleven. Wait a bit, I'm coming immediately. Twelve. Do you remember the books you've read? Thirteen. Half of them are remembered, half of them are forgotten. 14. I was stung by mosquitoes. 15. 15. The bread was eaten up entirely by the child. Sixteen. My foot was bitten a mouthful by a snake. Seventeen. 
the boat was beaten and spoiled completely by strong wind. Eighteen, Qing Shi Sang did also. Ask the teacher to sit here. Translate into Chinese. One. When will you come? In the morning or in the afternoon? Non ci si vuole, san pugne ne u pugne. Two. I do not know. If I have no affairs to attend to, I will come in the morning. Move short. Sazu mazti yo san pugne le. Three, has the carpenter finished making the table? If so, I will come and look at it. Tezu mo jian zu ho ma, sa zu zu ho zu ma wu yo le ku ku. Four, place the bed here and the table there. Sang ba le de de, de zi ba le yi de. Five. These fish are cooked badly. Un so le va ho. Six. The day after tomorrow, I have invited some guests to dinner. Seven. It is already twenty minutes past ten, and my teacher has not yet come. Eighteen. 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 I have forgotten it. Wu sonye de no wu a nong ji de wa. Wu mang ji ta ze. Nine. In studying Chinese, you must not forget what you have already learned. Do zong ko si yi jing ho gu la ge wa yo mang ji. Ten, please sit down a little while. There are many things I want to say to you. Qing Su Ye Xie, you do who si ti yo de no wu. Eleven, how did you come? I came in a carriage. No na neng le ga, wo su mu chu le ga. Twelve. My child was struck by your child. Wu a shou nu ba nong a shou nu dan. Thirteen. My face and hands were bitten by mosquitoes. Wu a mi kong lo se ba la meng zi ding. Notes. Note one: It will have been noticed that in lesson six, la li was used in the present tense continuous of the verb, and that la la was used for the past continuous. It was pointed out then that these words really signify here and there. The literal sense would be: I am here eating, and I was there eating. Note two: It is very important that beginners should distinguish clearly between mazz and zti. Any concrete object may be called a mazz, but an abstract action or affair is always zti. 
in Mandarin-speaking districts, Dongxi. Literally, east to west is often used for mazi, and sometimes it is heard in the Shanghai district. Note three. In the fifth sentence of the first exercise, notice how the z is tagged onto the ho and not to the so. Note four. In the tenth sentence of first exercise, notice how the dos has become a verbal adjective, literally reading book time. Note five. In the fifteenth sentence of the first exercise, the force of the z after ch is that it had been entirely eaten up. Z often comes after verbs to express completed action. Note six. In the sixteenth sentence of the first exercise, "ngo ziko" means literally bitten a mouthful. Note seven. In the seventeenth sentence, we have two verbs used together, "da." And the wa, literally beat or strike a spoil. Note eight. In the seventh sentence of the second exercise, twenty minutes past ten is expressed. Sati ko nie fen. Di is a shortened form for di zong. Ku. Means passed over or beyond. Note nine. In the twelfth sentence of the first exercise, notice the use of ku. It has the force of the relative pronoun, and the translation would be the books which you have read. Note ten. In the sixth sentence of the second exercise, some may be translated by. End of lesson eleven. Recording by Shyan Arrowsmith. Lesson twelve of Lessons in the Shanghai Dialect by Francis Lister Hawksport. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Shyan Arrowsmith. Lesson twelve. Some verbal idioms. We have already explained the use of ku yi, neng gu, and a way. There are other ways of expressing the possibility and impossibility of doing things in Chinese. For instance, one way is by the addition of da le or vale after the verb. Thus, dot vale. Means able to read, dovale. Means unable to read it. Many verbs of one character admit of this construction. Thus, uvale. Means able to speak, uvale. Means unable to speak, zuvale. Able to do, zuvale. Unable to do. Verbs made up of two characters do not take dale or vale after them. Thus, we do not hear shorta vale for unable to know, but vale shorta. The literal meaning of dale is obtain, come. And the literal meaning of vale is not come. We also have the use of daga 
after verbs expressing possibility and vada expressing impossibility. Thus, we have tsudaga, meaning it is possible to do a thing, and tsuvata, meaning it is impossible to do a thing. With verbs of physical action, we have dadong and the vadong, used after the verb implying possibility and impossibility. Thus, we have zhe dadong, meaning I have the physical ability to walk, and zhe vadong, meaning I have not the physical ability to walk. In the same way, we have zhe dadong and zhe vadong. Vadong literally means not move. Strange to say, we have su vadong, meaning I have not the physical ability to sit up, and su dadong, meaning I have the physical ability to sit up. Ma dadong means possible to buy. Ma vadong means impossible to buy. With verbs of hearing and seeing impossibility, is expressed in still another way. Thus, we have kudachi, meaning it is possible to see, and kuvachi, meaning it is impossible to see it. Literally translated, these expressions are. See, obtain, behold, and see, not behold. We also have kudatsa, meaning to see a thing clearly. Literally, see, obtain, come forth, and、uh, kudatsa, meaning not to be able to see, or literally, see, not come forth. In the same way, we have tindatsa. And tingata. In regard to hearing, instead of tingaji and tingaji, we have tingaza and tingaza. Literally, hear, obtain, and hear, not obtain. We have already explained the use of ho. After verbs expressing completed action, we also have other words used much in the same way. Thus, do ho zhe, do zhe, or do ba zhe, all mean the same thing. The verb wu means to finish. Accordingly, in asking a question, zhu ho ma. Zu ma and zu ba ma. All mean have you finished it? Verbal nouns are often formed by the addition of do or fa after the verb. Thus, zu do or zu fa means the manner of doing a thing. Vocabulary. To move, to excite. Dong. To hear. Ting. Heard. Tingji. To knock, to strike. Ko. To finish. U, K is the classifier used with rooms. A room. Ike, a bedroom. Ike wangke, a guest room. Ike kadangke, 
an office. Ekeshiazuke. A shroff's room. Eketsawanke. A study. Ekesuvan. A dining room. Ekechaveke. A kitchen. Ekesoveke. Or Siva. Or Zoke. Or Long Tsung. Or Gong Tsung. Or in general, most. Dake. Few. So. Each. Me. Every. Ko. Other. Be. High. Ko. Low. D. Broad. Ku. Narrow. Ha. Deep. Sung. Shallow. Chi. Two. Denoting excess. Ta. Above. Sound. Below. Wudo. Wudi. Wudi. Under, beneath. Di wu. Outside. Nga do. After. Ho. Behind. Ho ti. Ho ti do. Ho do. Before. Shi. Shi do. Earth. Di. Or di jiu. Exercises. Translate into English. 1. Sound do you tea, wu do you di. There is a heaven above, there is earth beneath. 2. You do who zu xia vale. There are many characters I am not able to write. 3. No way sa lo tzu la me le shi, in wen wo tzu va dong lo. Why you walk so slow? Because I'm unable to walk. 4. Tsong ko wu sa zu ning wu la kwa ma wo ting ba cha. Chinese, if spoken fast, I'm not able to understand. Five. You are sung to vale. Some books I'm not able to read. Six. There's a one to ji hu go ji hu ku. This house. How high? How wide? Seven. There's a one to you ji ge. This house, how many rooms? Eight. You ike kadang, ike shazke, ike chaveke lo sgevanke. A guest room, an office, a dining room, and four bedrooms. 
nine. Die gumma zi yu sa yong de wa? M sa yong de. Is this useful? Not useful. Ten. Sa ning la ko meng? Wu va zeng ting ji yu sa ning la ko meng. Who is knocking at the door? I haven't heard anyone knocking at the door. Eleven. Did you lose Taha? Ting ho nong zhe la xi de, wu zhe la he de. This path is too narrow. You'd better walk in front of me. I walk behind you. Twelve. Ching kaning kadang li su. Ask the guest to sit in the guest room. Thirteen. Song sang he do ci li yu ji hu lu. From Shanghai to here, how far? Fourteen. Wang zi ngā de zi lāng di, wang zi li xiang zi nye di. Outside of the house is cold. Inside of the house is hot. Fifteen. Did you who you a di fang zi seng di, you a di fang zi qi di? This river, some spots are deep, some spots are shallow. Sixteen. Nong na neng shou de de zang zi ti, yin wei wu ting de yu ning wu lo. How do you know this affair? Because I heard someone was talking. Seventeen. Seven zu la va ho, long zong ge yi zang ta dou. The tailor didn't do a good job. In general, the garment is too big. Eighteen. Ko ning yu ko ning a zi ti. Everyone has his own affair. Translating to Chinese. One, where's your teacher? He's in the study writing. Nong a shi san la sa di fang, la xia zi ge li xia zi. Two. Did you tell the table boy to bring the tea? De zu le nong de xi zhe wu wa. Three. If the carpenter does not make it well, I shall call another man. Sa zu mo jiang zu la wa ho wu yo zhe bin ying le zu. Four. This manner of doing it is bad. I want you to do it better. Sake zu lu zi wa ho wu yo nong zu la ho di. Five, I walked to Shanghai, and then I could walk no further. Wu zhe duo shang he ne ma zhe wa dong zhe. Six, then what did you do? I called a rickshaw and came back. Ne ma nong na neng zhe de, wu jiao zhe dong yang chu lo zhe le. Seven, is the master in? He has gone out. Xi sang la la va, cha qi la. Eight, three days ago I went to see the pagonda. Xie ni xi de wu qi ku de zu ta. Nine. There is water beneath the earth. Di di wu yu si. 
ten. The cat is under the chair. Mola itzuti wo. Eleven. When I have finished reading the book, I want to learn to write characters. Wo to ba zi si yo ho xia zi. Twelve. Tell him to come inside. Jiu yi to li xiang le. Thirteen. This table is too low. I cannot write characters on it. Di zhe de zi ta di wa ho xia zi. Fourteen, may I come in? Come right in. Wu kui jing le wa, jing le ma zhe. Notes. Note one, in regard to so, meaning few. It should be noted that it never occurs before a noun. If you wish to say a few men, the idiomatic expression would be "yu wa du ji nin" or "ma ji hu nin." The men are few would be "nin so." So is often used to qualify verbs. Thus, we have "so doku." Meaning to read less. Note two, as already pointed out in a previous lesson, what correspond to preposition in English are really postpositions in Chinese, as they come after the nouns instead of before them. When used as adverbs, however, they generally precede the verbs. Thus, we have li xiang zu for sit inside. Zang de zu. For take a higher seat, this is the usual polite phrase said to a guest when he enters your guest room. He will take a seat near the door, and you ask him to be seated higher. Note three: the first sentence of the first exercise is really an oath, and is used when one is calling heaven and earth to witness that his words are true. Note four: Note the impersonal use of you in the second sentence of the first exercise. Literally, it is there are many characters. Note five: In the seventh sentence of the second exercise, you have the usual form of inquiring whether the gentleman you wish to see is at home. You say, "She is on the lava." Is the master there? The answer is la la. If he is at home, meaning he is there. If he is not at home, the answer may be cha chi la. He has gone out, or va la la. He is not there. End of lesson twelve. Recording by Shaya Arrowsmith. Lesson thirteen of Lessons in the Shanghai Dialect by Francis Lister Hawkes Port. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Shyan Arrowsmith. Lesson thirteen, Auxiliary Verbs. The verb qi is often used as an auxiliary verb after the principal verb to express the idea of inception. Thus, do qi means begin to read. Qi also expresses the idea of erectness, but when used in this sense, le follows the qi. Thus. Le chile 
means stand up. Lo chile means get up. It also has a progressive meaning, as when you say do chile. It means read on, go on reading. We have the chi, also used in combination with da. Thus, lo ta chi means able to get up. Lo va chi means unable to get up. Ma ta chi means can afford to buy it. Ma va chi means cannot afford to buy it. Kun va chi means unable to sleep. Ku va chi means to look down upon, to disdain. San and the wu are used both as principal verbs and as auxiliaries. Thus we have the expression zang se, meaning to go uphill, wu se, to go downhill, wu su, to go on board a boat, zang si, to take an advanced lesson in a book, etc. In these cases, they're used as principal verbs. As auxiliary verbs, they express motion upwards and motion downwards. They are not confined to verbs of motion, but are used freely with other verbs. To both of them, le and chi are frequently added. Thus, we have do chi, meaning read down down, zu chi, meaning go on doing it, tiu le, meaning jump down, tiu zhang chi, meaning jump up to that place, tiu zhang le, jump up to this place. Although the Chinese language is, strictly speaking, a monosyllabic language, yet, as has already been noticed, there is a strong tendency to use two or more words together, forming, as it were, disyllables or trisyllables. In this lesson, some verbs are used, composed of two characters occurring together. Vocabulary To like, to enjoy Hu xi. To play, take a recreation. Ba xian. To converse. Ba wu. Or de de. To believe. Xiang xing. To fall. Lo of things or de of men or animals to stand up le to get up lo to be willing Kung to back the book. Bei to think. Xian to sleep. Kun to wipe. Ka to fly. Fi to reckon. Su to build. So a stove. 
ירחולו. Or it's a hulu. A rat. It's a lo tsu. Or it's a lo zong. A washstand. It's a kami dets. A temple. Izu mio. A window. Isu tang. Be is the classifier for firms, shops, etc. A tea shop. Ibe su gu. A pair of chopsticks. Isang kwa. Words. Su wu. Or wu de. A sentence. It's just so. Only. Biku. Or does. Or zata. Not only. Vadez. Or vade. Or vapa. Heavy. Song. Light in weight. Ching. Cheap. Jiang. Dear in price. Chu. Happy. Kwa wa. Clear or distinct. Ching sang. Su zhou. Su zhou. Therefore. Su yi. Or ke lo. First. Shi. Together. Ido Idong Exercises Translate into English One Diga Liang Wei Bang Yu Hushi Ido Bao These two friends like chatting together Two 我多巴子是要出去白相。After I finish the study, I want to go out to play. Three. 实在一坑妈妈，我妈妈在。If he agrees to sell, I would buy. Four. 这组房子烧起来蛮快。This house is being built quite fast. Five. 我叫伊个小囡立起来背书。I asked his child to stand up and recite. Six. 我想这个学生子今朝不成卡米。I think this student today has not yet washed the face. Seven. 中国人吃饭用一双筷，外国人用多老粗。Chinese eat with a pair of chopsticks. Foreigners use knives and forks. Eight. 昨夜头辣房间里，我听得一只老虫辣辣叫。Last night inside the room, I heard a rat was making noises. Nine. 
实就伊讲伊不承担嘛，伊的说话我肯相信。If he said that he has not taken, I can believe what he said. Ten. 天好嘛，我要到茶馆里去坐坐，谈谈，吃茶。If the weather is nice, I will go to a tea house to sit and chat and drink tea. Eleven. 有别啥鞋子伐？我别个有得上。Do you have another pair of shoes? I only have this pair. Twelve. So I don't look hungry, but I see you in the lobby. Last night I couldn't sleep, therefore this morning I couldn't get up. Thirteen. 天热的辰光要开窗落门，冷嘛要关。When it's hot, open windows and doors. Close them when it's cold. Fourteen. 中国话话了不清爽嘛，别人不懂的。Chinese, if spoken not clearly, others would not be able to understand. Fifteen. 这卡米的字侬买来讲伐？不好说讲，我想买句。This washstand, did you buy it cheap? Not so cheap, I reckon. Quite expensive. Sixteen. 侬几块洋的买来的？十块洋的啦。For how much dollar did you buy it? Ten dollars. Seventeen. You 为啥咯？买了十个句，因为只得迭个一只。Why you bought it so expensive? Because there was only this one. Eighteen. 我出去跑路，不但看见一座庙，庙门前还有一座塔。I went out, not only saw a temple, but also a pagoda in front of the temple gate. Nineteen. This hula is song, ah, nah, ching, ah, is my song, ah. Is this stove heavy or light? It is quite heavy. Twenty. Ching, she sang so fancy. Ask the teacher to sit up there. Twenty-one. 先生叫我上次读下去。The teacher asks the student to read on. Twenty-two. 一本书从台子上落下来。That book fell from the table. Twenty-three. 小女从椅子上跌下来。The child fell down from the chair. Twenty-four. 我看见一只鸟从天上飞下来。I saw a bird flying down from the sky. Twenty-five. 我明朝要下船到苏州去。Tomorrow I will go on board a boat for Suzhou. Translate into Chinese. One, do you like to eat this? The yamas no hui shi chava. Two. In the daytime, men work. In the nighttime, they sleep. 
，热烈的辰光，人做功夫啦，夜里没困。Three. The cat came in by the window, and the rat ran out by the door. Mouse is from the house. The cat is from the window. The rat is from the door. Four. I conversed with him, and he taught me many words in Chinese. 我对伊白话咯，伊教我多国中国话。Five, I want you to wipe the windows. 要侬去卡卡唱。Six, last night I only slept four hours. 昨夜头，我别过困至四点钟功夫。Seven. I not only bought a washstand, I also bought a stove and three chairs. 我不但买起一只卡米袋子，也买起一只火炉咯，三把椅子。Eight. Children like to play. Men like to study. 小女欢喜白相，大人欢喜读书。Nine. Why do you go to the tea shop? Because there I can hear many men conversing and so learn many Chinese words. 侬为啥老到茶馆里去？因为一头我可以听得多国人白话咯，学中国话。Ten, are you willing to go with me to see the temple? 侬肯带我一道到庙里去看看伐 ？Eleven. Today I'm very happy because I have finished the book. 今早我蛮快活，因为一本书读完噻。Twelve. The child jumped down from the table. 小女从台子浪跳下来。Thirteen. Please write on down. 请写下去。Fourteen. When will you go up the hill with me to take a look? 侬几时带我一道上山去看看？ Fifteen. The teacher first hears the scholars back the book and then gives them an advanced lesson. 先生先听学生子背书，乃么得伊拉上书。Notes. Note one. Note that 相信 Means to like as well as to believe. 我相信一个人 Means I like him. Note two: the expression "to back the book" arises from the old Chinese custom of the pupil turning his back upon the teacher when he recites his lesson. Note three: notice the order of the words in the eleventh sentence of the first exercise. The verb "you" comes first in a sentence. Note four: the word "la" is added at the end of the sixteenth sentence of the first exercise, merely for euphony. Note five: 
In the twentieth sentence of the first exercise, we have another polite way of asking a person to take a higher seat in a guest room. Note six: In sentences twenty-two and twenty-three of the first exercise, we have the use of lo and the de for for. It is difficult to distinguish between the two, but de. Is used always when we speak of a person falling down. Note seven: the correct way of translating the first sentence of the second exercise is "The young man's no hushi chava." The young means this sort. Note eight. The thirteenth sentence of the second exercise, of course, refers to the fact that the Chinese write from the top down and not across the page. Note nine: the last clause of the fifteenth sentence of the second exercise should be "ne mata ila san si." Then, for them, advances in the book. End of lesson thirteen. Recording by Shyan Arrowsmith. Lesson fourteen of Lessons in the Shanghai Dialect by Francis Lister Hawkes Port. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Shyan Arrowsmith. Lesson fourteen: Causality and Necessity. The idea of causality, in a sense of causing a person to do a thing, is expressed in Chinese by the use of the auxiliary verbs "go" and "ta." Thus, I caused him to do it would be "wu go yi zu." I caused him to go would be "wu ta yi qi." The word "ta." Literally means to send. The word "go" is the same as "yo," but used with different pronunciation and different tongue. When one of higher rank causes a person of lower rank to do a thing, the word "si" is used. Thus, "si wu yu meng." Caused me to sorrow. Must is expressed by the expressions "zhong yao," "biding yao," "yiding yao." It must be is "zhong zi." Thus, it must be so is "zhong zi sa ge." Ought. Implying obligation is expressed by "ing ge." Thus, you ought to do it is "nong ing ge zu wa." Vocabulary. Perhaps. Kung pu. Just now. A little while ago. Gang gang, or vatu ji zi. Quickly, ho zuo, or kua kua. Moreover, bing che, or er che, or kuang che. Although, Suzu or Suzu, yet, Su still in a sense of addition. Where or where yo, Wu wei yo ma. I still wish to buy more. 
on the contrary, or on the other hand. Do to complete. Sangong to light a lamp or candle. Di to light a fire. San to take with you. Da qi to bring with you. Da le to kill. Sa or sa ta to kill with a blow. Da sa to die. Xi or Xi ta to live. Wa a lamp. Itu deng to tell, narrate. Gosu to sweep the ground, floor. So di feng. Is the classifier used for letters and other sealed parcels? A letter. A envelope. An envelope. A envelope. Or a envelope. A candle. A candle. Fire. Hou Zhang is the classified denoting sheets, a sheet of paper. It's a a fall. It's a chi. Exercises Translate into English. One, mu ni yin ke zi wu si ti do wa zu. On the other hand, we are not doing the things which we ought to do. Two, ti lang zi ma bi ding yo san hu. It turns cold, must make fire. Three, ya de yo do si ma zong yo di deng. If read books at night, always light the lamp. Four, wo wa shou de na neng zu de wo bang yu yi jing xi ta zhe. I don't know how to do. My friend already died. Five. Bring me a piece of paper. I want to write a letter. Six. Mula Sivan is in Wu Mozi. Susie did the Latso Ashing Bazaga. I'm looking for my hat in the study. Although I lit a candle, I still can't find it. Seven. I want to go to China, and I want to go to China. I want to learn reading Chinese characters, also to learn writing Chinese characters. Eight. Although you say you haven't taken out, but I'm not willing to believe. Nine. Quiet. 
quickly go to get the doctor. Perhaps he's going to die. Ten. She saw the lava. He can't go to the lava. He's a short daddy, she said. Is the teacher there? He was there just now, but right now I don't know where he is. Eleven. Sazu ye vazung le, ngutang i vat. If he is still not coming, I can't wait for him. Twelve. Mojo yong ning sai zhe ji. I caused the servant to kill a chicken to eat at meal time. Thirteen, the puddets mojang zu le eho. This table, the carpenter did fairly good. Fourteen. 我没夸我，听得侬我我有一封信来，恐怕是我的朋友写来的。I am quite happy to hear you say that I have a letter, perhaps from my friend. Fifteen. 您要写出人工一张尸体，那么可以做白羊。One has to complete doing one thing and then can do another thing. Sixteen. 没一个人会洗洗 No one likes to die. Translate into Chinese. One. I told you a little while ago that I did not want you to open the window. Why do you not listen to me? Yesterday, I told you that you did not want me to open the window. Two. Light the lamp and put it on the table in the study. Three. If a guest comes, I want you to light a fire in the reception room. Can you let me look at that girl? You know she's hot. Four. Do not strike the dog. Perhaps you will kill him. For your dango, come for your dance, sir. Five. You must study diligently, and then you can learn to speak Chinese. Six. How many hours a day ought I to study? I think you should study at least four hours a day: two in the morning and two in the afternoon. One day, I should have studied four hours a day: two in the morning and two in the Seven. If your letter has been written, I will send the servant to take it. Xin xia hao zi ma, wo cha yong ning dai qi. Eight. 
Early in the morning, I want you to sweep the floor and wipe the table and chairs. Nine. Although the carpenter works quickly, he cannot finish it in a week. Ten. When you have finished this, do not think there is nothing more to do, but come and tell me. Eleven. I did not tell you to take it away, but on the contrary, told you to put it in the office. Twelve. If the doctor does not come immediately, this man cannot live. Thirteen. Who caused you to do it? He caused me to do it. Notes Note 1. Where is sometimes used to qualify adjectives. Thus, weho means fairly good or pretty good. Note 2. Suzu and suo are generally used together. The first introducing the first clause and the second the second clause. Note 3. In the first sentence of the first exercise, notice the formation of verbal noun, the things which we ought to do. Note 4. In the ninth sentence of the first exercise, notice that kwati does not mean faster, but is used for quickly. Note 5. In the eleventh sentence of the first exercise, tangivata means literally, wait him not get, that is, I cannot wait for him. Note 6. In the fourteenth sentence of the first exercise, notice the use of la la and chi are frequently used with other verbs to make the direction of the action clear. Thus, xia le is right come to me. Xia qi is right send away or right go. Note 7. In the fifth sentence of the second exercise, diligent can be expressed by yong xing. Use heart or mind. Note 8. In this lesson, frequent use has been made of the verb xi. In speaking of a person dying, the more euphonious expression is gu si. End of lesson 14. Recording by Shoyan Arrowsmith. Lesson 15 of Lessons in the Shanghai Dialect by Francis Lister Hawksport. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Cheyenne Arrowsmith. Lesson 15. Further remarks on numerals, 
the relative pronoun. Numbers above one hundred are expressed as follows: one hundred and one is 一百零一 and so on to 一百零九 Then the 零 is dropped, and we have 一百三一百三一一百三二一百三四 etc. 零 really means in addition. The hundreds are expressed simply by 二百 two hundred 三百 three hundred etc. One thousand is 一千 In expressing one hundred and one, we say 一百零一 In expressing one thousand and one, we say 一千零一 Ten thousand is 一万 One million is 一百万 The ordinary numerals are expressed in Chinese by prefixing "di" before the cardinal. Thus, the first is "di ye" or "de ye." The second "di ni" and so forth. Su. Literally, a place is often used as a relative pronoun. It translates the English "who," "which," "what," "that," and the things which. The clause it introduces usually comes before the subject of the sentence. Thus, "all which you do, I am able to do also," would be "no su zu wo si ti wo a neng ge zu wo." As has already been pointed out, ga often has the force of the relative. Vocabulary: to wonder, be surprised. Xi ji: to wear. Za: to take off. Or ta ta to wear a hat. Da to take off a hat. Si to laugh. Xiao to ridicule. Lang xiao literally cold laugh. Or xi xiao, laughable, ho xiao, very laughable, xiao sa zai, by the side of, bi de, or bang bi, place, yi de. My place. Moedo. Right direction. Yo. Right hand. Yo so. Left. Zu. Sometimes pronounced the zu. Left hand. So so. Right side. You be. You baby. Early. So. Late. A. Sharp. Qua. Same character as that used for fast.
Tổ Tận Sweet Tỷ Bitter Khu Ugly Pu Same character as that used for fear. Pretty. Chu. A shop. Ibeti. Take care. Dangxing. Or Xiaoxing. Take great care. Dou Dangxing. Tools, implements. Gasa. Furniture. Gahu. A teapot. Ipusu. A class in a school. Ipe. To sing. Ta. Exercises. Translate into English. One. Ngu to ti li qi ku qi du hu ma zi de zi ma wa qi ge. I go to shops and see many things but can't afford. Two. Da xing zi ho. Take care, walk well. 3. 当心这个样的放好了箱子里. Take care to put this money in a box. 4. 省光爱这就去困. It's late, go to bed. 5. 清早我不知道好了吧去. Today I didn't have any excuse not to get up. 6. 无数告诉我一张事体不要得不认我。The affair I told you, don't tell anyone else. 7. 有人爱不认识是不我喜忌. The servant has not yet shown up. That is a surprise to me. 8. 担心得不多是没快乐。Watch, this knife is quite sharp. 9. The affair he told me is laughable. 10. I couldn't meet him on the road, not sure where he went. 11. De Busu de Toshi Saidochi. Take this teapot to the teacher. 12. De Ganin Tsu Shas, Dadusuni Yu Su Shaga. That person writes with left hand. Most people write with right one. 13. The clothes worn during the day are taken off when sleeping at night. 
fourteen. It's a more than it's a girl's pulleshi. A cat is beautiful, but a dog is very ugly. Sixteen. Many people like eating sweets. No one likes eating bitter things. Seventeen. Zengli yu ji hu ning, kong pu yu sa ve. How many people inside the city? Perhaps one hundred thousand. Eighteen. Di go wo san zi, me yong xing to si, la ye be li zi de ye. This student studies diligently. He is the number one in the class. Nineteen. A man brings one hundred three dollars. Translate into Chinese. One. When I was in a carriage, I told the coachman to take care. Two, the clothes which that maiden wears are very pretty. Three. The boat is by the side of the river. It's a sui lau bilang. Four. Yesterday, I met a man who told me that he saw a carpenter kill a man with a sharp knife. So, I am going to tell you that I am going to tell you that I am going to tell you that I am Although I do not speak Chinese well, please do not laugh at me. Six. I asked the man which road to take. He told me to go to the right. Seven. I did not meet a single person on the road. Eight. This bird is very beautiful. Can it sing? Nine. When it is warm, you do not want to wear many clothes. Ten. This tea is bitter and not good to drink.
Tiga su kuwa wa khochaga. Eleven. Yesterday I walked very far and so could not get up today. So nye mu zhe zi du hu lu su yi jing zo lo wa qi zhe. Twelve. Take this letter to the teacher. De feng xing de do xi san de qi. Notes. Note one. He do. Is very frequently used with persons and personal pronouns. Thus, you do not say "de doi" for taking it to him, but "de doi de qi." Leave it with me would be "ba le ngu de." Note two: the second sentence of the first exercise is often used in speaking to a guest when he is departing. When he is about to go, he announces the fact by saying "qi zhe." Meaning, I am going. You say, "Me qi." Meaning, go slowly. And then, when he's walking away, 当心之后 Note three. In the fifth sentence of the first exercise, 唔撒好 means not at all well. Note four. In the tenth sentence of the first exercise, notice how the object "e" splits up the verb into two parts. Note five: In the sixth sentence of the second exercise, to the right is expressed by "you so." End of lesson fifteen. Recording by Shoyan Arrowsmith. Lesson sixteen of Lessons in the Shanghai Dialect by Francis Lister Hawksport. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Shoyan Arrowsmith. Lesson sixteen, Verbal Idioms. The idea of there being time to accomplish a thing is expressed by adding the words "da jie" after the principal verb. If there is not sufficient time to do a thing, you add "vajie" after the principal verb. Thus, "zutajie" means there is time to do a thing. "Zuvajie" means there is not time. This expression is used most frequently with the verb "le." Le da jie means there is time, and le va jie means there is not time. The idea of a thing being important is expressed by the words yo jing, not being important by the words va yo jing or va ge sa. Is it important, or does it make any difference? Would be nghe sava, valo. Is often used after verbs giving the idea of inability to do a thing. Thus, chavalo means unable to eat. So valo, unable to sit because of lack of room. We also have the affirmative forms, so da lo, and cha da lo. Vocabulary. List. San zi. Either or. 
was 어째 difficult 왜네 오네 easy 용이 slowly gently 매매는 walk slowly 매매츠츠 besides in addition 링아 제가 or where how much more 우쾅 with 네 at the end of the clause still more 更加 yaka to start on a journey dong sen literally to move the body to become ill sang bing to heal e ho or ku ho to welcome a guest. Ying jie. To return a debt or, or thing borrowed. Where? To cry. Ko. To lead. Ling. To borrow or to lend. 家 See note To wash 井 Illness 毛病 Asidang kuli 一个酒杯 Or 一个酒夫 a star. Ega sing. A grave mound. Ega vang se. A goat. It's a se yang. A hog or pig. It's a tzilu. A stool. It's a tangzi. A chest of drawers. It's a tzaitu. A drawer. It's a tzaiti. A wash bowl. It's a mibang. A plate. It's a bangzi. A Chinese eating bowl. It's a u. A farmer. Ega zhong di ning. Gu. Is the classifier for tubular things. A Chinese or foreign pen. Ikupi. A Chinese ink tablet. Ika ni zi. Or ni de. A piece of ink. Ikwema. Foreign ink. Masu clean Gujing 
stop. Ding. Moon. Yuliang. Precious. Bobe. Exercises. Translate into English. One. 这个是要亲啊，亲侬不要忘记。This is important. Please not to forget. Two. 这个小女饭吃不落，恐怕有毛病。This child couldn't eat. Perhaps it's ill. Three. 今朝来不及，明朝老早。Can't make it today. Will do tomorrow. Four. 两个人一只椅子上坐不落。Two people, one chair is not enough room to sit. Five. 学生子们衣裳阿里头读起咯，阿里头停。The student asks the teacher where to begin the lesson and where to end it. Six. 操心好子嘛，放了抽屉里。After finishing the copying, put it in the drawer. Seven. 中地人已经买只三只山羊，伊个朋友另外还要买四只。The farmer has already bought three goats. His friend wants to buy four more. Eight. 侬应该对农庄人好。何况对自家人好呢 ？You should treat all people well, and even better your family. Nine. 本子老暗，要更加干净。Plates and bowls should be cleaner. Ten. 侬应该早晨头动身，下半日动身来不及到个。You should depart in the morning. Leaving in the afternoon won't give you enough time to reach the destination. Eleven. 侬几时还不了我？或者今朝下半日，或者明朝早晨头。When you will return it to me, this afternoon or tomorrow morning? Twelve. 我朋友生病，所以要请医生看看。My friend is ill, so need a doctor. Thirteen. 夜里了天冷，可以看多喝辛劳月亮。日历别个看见日头。At night in the sky can see many stars and the moon. During the day can only see the sun. Fourteen. 这个小女日历不哭，但是夜里大哭。This child doesn't cry during the day, but cries hard at night. Fifteen. 我借给伊三十块洋钿，不晓得伊几时还。I lent him thirty dollars. Don't know when he will return. Sixteen. 叫教父慢慢子走，因为搿条街也老
tell the sedan coolie to walk slowly, as this street is narrow. Seventeen. Because Lu Wenning does not want to be named Lin Lu. Because I don't know the direction, so I ask someone to lead. Eighteen. I let Bang Yu go to the house near Kuiyang Di, because your ma is a Kami De Lo Si Zhe Deng Zi. I borrowed twenty dollars from a friend because I wanted to buy a washing stand and four stools. Nineteen, 卡好之米，米本要放好。After washing the face, put back the wash bowl. Twenty. 我走到门口头迎接客人。I walked to the gate to welcome the guests. Twenty-one. 我问医生这个毛病医得好不？医话慢慢能会好的。I asked the doctor if this illness can be healed. He said slowly, "It will be better." Twenty-two. 指头、麦、鼻、耳袋，中国人是读书人的饲养宝贝。Paper, ink block, brush, ink tablet are regarded by Chinese as four treasures for a scholar. Translate into Chinese. One, which is easier to learn to read Chinese or to learn to write Chinese? Ali yang yong yi di, ho do zhong guo shi ne, hai shi ho xia zhong guo shi. Two, I told you there was not time to do it. Why do you still want to do it? Wo de nong wo lai wu ji zu, nong wei sa lo sheng jiu yao zu. Three. Why do you cry? Because I've heard that my friend is dead. No, why do I cry? Because I've heard that my friend is dead. Four. 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 We will go early tomorrow morning to meet our friends who have come from abroad. Five goats like to stand on the tops of the grey mounds. Seiyang hui shi le le wen seilang. Six. You say that this temple is so fine to see that I want to go more than ever to see it. Nong wu de zhu miao shi sa ge hao ke, so yi wu geng ga yao qi ke. Seven, please, teacher, do not speak so fast. If you will speak more slowly, I can understand. Eight. If you do not return it immediately, no matter. I can wait two or three days.
Sazu no vazuju we vangesa ukui tung liang senye. Nine. Why did not the pupil come to school? Because he was sick. O san tsu wei sa lo va do dan li le, yin wei yi sa mo bing lo. Ten. I told the servant to put my clothes in the drawer. Wo jiu yong ning fang wei yi zang la ce ti li. Eleven. The Chinese, when they eat, use bowls. The foreigners use plates. Chinese people eat with their hands, and the Chinese people use bowls. Twelve. This fan belongs either to the teacher or to the pupil. The blue suits or the blue shoes are or the blue shoes. Thirteen. If you want to learn to write, you must buy a pen, a piece of ink, and an ink tablet. Zazu nong yo wo xia zi nong zong yo ma e gu bi e kui ma lo e ge ni de. Fourteen. If you borrow money from another person and do not return it, he will be unhappy. Sazu nong la la bin ying ge de jia dong di lo va wei ge. Fifteen. I told the driver to stop the carriage at my friend's house. I told the driver to stop the carriage at my friend's house. Fifteen. I told the driver to stop the carriage at my Note one: the word for to borrow and to lend is exactly the same in Chinese. The only way you can distinguish between them is by auxiliary words used in connection with them. Thus, jia ba means to lend, jia le means to borrow. Again, jia qi. Means to lend, but we have such constructions as "wo jia le yi," meaning "I lend to him," and "wo le yi ge de jia ge," meaning "I borrowed it from him." Note two: in the fifth sentence of the first exercise, "do qi." Means read begin, and ding. Means stop. This is an ordinary form for asking where to begin the lesson and where to end it. Note three. In the fourteenth sentence of the first exercise, notice how do qualifies the verb ko. Note four. The twenty-second sentence of the first exercise is a paraphrase of a Chinese proverb. End of lesson sixteen. Recording by Shyan Arrowsmith. Lesson seventeen of Lessons in the Shanghai Dialect by Francis Lister Hawkes Port. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Shoyan Arrowsmith. Lesson Seventeen: More Verbal Idioms. In asking questions, you da.
sometimes precedes a verb with the sense is there to be had. Thus, is the matter means is there to be bought. Is the chava means is there anything to eat. The answers to these questions would be is the matter. Is the chava. It can be bought. There is something to eat. Vapi means it is not necessary. Thus, vapi ko. It is not necessary to cry. Vapi chi. It is not necessary to go. Inge va. Before the verbs means not at all. Thus. Wu ying eva shoda means I don't know at all. Ying eva zeng ku ji xie means I have not seen it at all. Ying eva yo ku means I do not want to see it at all. Vocabulary to visit. To pay respects to. Ma. Or ba ma. To worship. Ba. To pay a ceremonial visit. Ba ka. To bathe. Jing yue. To catch, seize, arrest. So. To prepare, to provide. Yu be. To move a thing. Dong. Loose, unstable. Dong lo dong. Immovable. Dong avadong. To remove a residence. Bu. Or bu zang. To commence work. Dong se. Or ke gong. To open school. Ke ho. To dismiss school. Fao. A finger. It's a zido. A toe. It's a jazido. A cup. It's a beizi. A clock. It's a siming a watch. It's a pure. A well. It's a ching. A basket. It's a le. An apple. It's a pinku. A crab apple. It's a huong. A towel. It is also jing. A life. It is your shimming. A hill, mountain. Is you say. A board. Equipe. Four. Is the classifier of paintings or engravings, a painting. If for a chart or map. If for do. Or if for daily do. A picture. If for so. 
one time. Iwei Itang Two times, twice. Liang Wei or Liang Tang. Whosoever. They Yi. No matter who. Valen Sanning. Whatsoever, no matter what. Valen Sa. Subi Sa. Or Vachu Sa. Whichever. Subi. Whatever time you please. Subi cheese. Wet. Sa. Dry. Gu. Always. Zang zang. Or zang zang. Exercises. Translate into English. One. 使命中的用的是不能晓得辰光。The use of a clock is to tell people time. Two. It's a mom 啥用的，一眼不会做闹钟。That cat is no use, not capable of catching rats at all. Three. 明早我要出去望朋友 Tomorrow I want to go out to visit friends. Four. 我听得西山唔啥好，所以来望望。I heard that the teacher is not at all well, so I came to see him. Five. 我们木匠造房子，其实要动手。I asked the carpenter to build the house when to start. Six. 两只手有十只指头，两只脚有十只脚趾头。Two hands have ten fingers. Two feet have ten toes. Seven. 生病嘛，总要请医生，为子人的性命是要紧的。When ill, always need to call the doctor, for life is important. Eight. 上山是万难，下山是容易。Going up the mountain is difficult. Going down the mountain is easy. Nine. 的风信要啥人打起，不论啥人可以打起。This letter needs to be brought by whom? Anyone can bring it. Ten. 今夜都要预备好，为子明早早上头要动身。Tonight, need to prepare for the departure tomorrow morning. Eleven. Is it she or the Ming Zhou Chi? Should be no matter. Going now or going tomorrow morning? It's up to you. Twelve. 经理事已经赶在，不晓得哪能做头。The water in the well dried out. Not sure what to do. Thirteen. 金子月要用手巾擦干身体 After bathing, need to use the towel to dry the body.
Fourteen. Kang kang wu fa nye tsa bing gu la le li. Ize wa gu yu sang tsa a shou tsa sa ning ne ta ga. Just now I put twenty apples in the basket. And now there are only fifteen left. Don't know who took them. Fifteen. Tsi di biu yu ma wa. Tsi di yang yang yu da ma ga. Here sells watches. Here sells things of every sort. Sixteen. Long zhong a zi qing wu yi jing xiao de. No va bi de ngo wu. The whole affair I already knew. You don't need to tell me. Seventeen. De peng si ying ye ma si wu. This book has no pictures at all. Eighteen. It's a bit silly, you samas. Bikulans. This glass in it, anything? Just the cold water. Nineteen. So that's a day. You'll use a quick bed. To make this table, how many planks are needed? Twenty. The sweetang took the inkeva ho. Sang zhang dong lo dong. This window is not done well at all. It's moving all the time. Twenty one. Chiku shema. Chiku zi liang wei. Have been there. Have been there twice. Twenty two. Xi san wu ming zuo wa hao le wei zi you bu san lo. The teacher says not to come tomorrow for moving the residence. Twenty three. Wei yi ning yong xing ma ku yi zheng gong zi ti. He who is diligent can be successful. Translate into Chinese. One, when I have finished studying, I shall go to visit my friends. Wu du ba zi si yao cha qi mang bang yu. Two. No matter who comes, tell him I'm busy having affairs. Valen sa ning le de yi wu wu yu zi ti. Three. When the weather is wet, I cannot go out to walk. Ti sa ma wu van neng ge cha qi bo lu. Four. The pupils should not eat apples in the schoolroom. Lao dan ge li o san zi wa yin ge chu bing gu. Five. Children like to play the game of catching men. Shou nu hu shi zu zu ning ge ba xiang. Six. The pupils read badly today. I think they did not prepare. Jin zuo wo san zi do le wa ho, wu xiang yi la wa zheng yu bei. Seven. At what time does the school open and at what time does it close? Sagan Guang Keo, San Guang Fang Ho. 
eight. I shall be pleased to have a conversation with you whenever you come. Don Subichi Zile, Wome Hushite non Pao. Nine. The child does not want to study a bit. I think it would be best for him to go and do business. Ten. I have already told you two or three times. Do not forget. Eleven. Next month we shall remove our residence. Twelve. Near Shanghai there are no high hills, only grey mounds. Thirteen. I cannot open this window. It is immovable. The Sutan Kevalega Dong Avadong. Fourteen. Has the clock already struck? Tongi Jin Kokuma. Fifteen. How many eggs are there in a basket? Lele yu chia de. Notes. Note one. In the fourth sentence of the first exercise, msaho means not at all well. Note 2. In the eleventh sentence of the first exercise, the expression subi no mate is one very frequently used. It implies do it whenever and however you please. Note 3. In the fourteenth sentence of the first exercise, neta means take away. We have already had the use of ta after verbs as ta ta to take off clothes. It can be used with almost any verb of motion. We have ba ta to give away, cha ta to eat up, chi ta to cast off. This on mata to sell away, etc. Note four in the fifteenth sentence of the first exercise Yang Yang repeated means things of every sort. Note five Note that the usual expression in Chinese to say you are busy is Wu Yu Ti It is never very polite to tell anyone that you are busy. A person asking whether you were busy would say Mava Are you busy? Note six In the fifth sentence of the second exercise the game Sunin frequently played by Chinese children is referred to. Note 7. In the eighth sentence of the second exercise, the clauses should be reversed. Nong Subi Chi Zile should come first. Note 8. In the ninth sentence of the second exercise, to go and do business is Chi Zu Sang Yi. 
Note nine. In the fourteenth sentence of the second exercise, "zong kokuma" is the usual way of asking the question. "Zong" is shortened form of "zi ming zong." End of lesson seventeen. Recording by Shyan Arrowsmith. Lesson eighteen of Lessons in the Shanghai Dialect by Francis Lister Hawkes Pot. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Shyan Arrowsmith. Lesson eighteen. More verbal idioms. Xian is often placed before transitive verbs and usually gives the idea of mutual or reciprocal. In some cases, it is reflexive. As instances of reciprocal action, we have xian da to fight with one another, xian mu to revile one another, xian li. To be connected together, xiang bang. To help one another, ke or ke le is used with many verbs to give the idea of spreading wide open. Thus, te ke le means to unroll a bundle, jie ke le. Means to open a box. Fen ke. To divide. Se ke. To scatter wide cast. Che ke. Or che ke le. Means to cut open, etc. Not inclined to do a thing is expressed by the phrase va go xing. Thus, va go xing qi. Not inclined to go. Vocabulary. To follow. Geng. To tie. Bo. To tie firmly. Bo lo. Or. Bolots. To desire, to expect. Ma. Or bu ma. To bite. Ngo. To bark. Jo. To blow. Tsi. To blow out, to extinguish. Tsing. To blow into a blaze of flame. Tsuang. To fly. Fi. To explain. Gasa. To forsake, desert, depart from. Li ke. To permit. Xu. To allow. Niang. Color. Nghe sa. Variegated colors. Nghe lo sa. Thought or meaning. Is a thief. Yigasa. Mi is used as the classifier for flat objects. A drum. Imiku. Hope. Mando. Wind. Feng. Wine. Jiu. 
rope. Idio sang or ikeng sang. Zeng is the classifier denoting idols or canon. A Buddha is the idol. Itzeng vo or itzeng bu sa. A Tao is the god or idol. Itzeng sang do. A piece of bread. Ikwemudo. A piece of meat. Ikwenyo. Ku. Is the classifier used with plants, trees, and flowers. A tree. Ikuzi. A flowering plant. Ikuhu. Cotton seed. Huzi. A Chinese mile. Ili or Ililu. To regret, to be placed in an embarrassing position. Ne Weijing. Exercises. Translate into English. 1. Diga Liang or Sanzi. These two pupils, I don't permit them to go out and play because they reviled one another in the school. 2. Did you so were easy move at Don Ching Shizangas? This sentence I don't understand the meaning. I asked the teacher to explain. 3. This bird flies extremely high. 4. Catch one thief needed to tie him up firmly with a rope. 5. This flower, the color is quite beautiful. 6. At night when go to sleep, need to blow off the lamp. 7. The paper I put on the window seal is blown away by the wind. 8. Entertaining guests without wine would be embarrassing. 9. Don't be afraid of this dog, it won't bite. 10. I went to a temple and saw a Buddha statue and many bodhisattva idols. 11. Wooting the Yuning Lakoku. I heard someone is beating the drum. Twelve. Did the do sang he you sang Lilu? From here to Shanghai, it is fifteen li distance. Thirteen. Susu de Kuzme Hoku, Su Vake Hua. Even though this tree is nice looking, but it doesn't flower. 14. 
If you want to go up to the mountain, allow me to go with you. Fifteen. 모두 친척해래, 바 에콰라고쳐. The bread, please cut it open and give me a piece to eat. Sixteen. 빙 상란 매송 이제 이상 마망도. The illness is quite serious. Now the doctor has no hope. Seventeen. The farmer is scattering the cotton seeds. Eighteen. The pupils are inclined to play, but not inclined to study. Nineteen. Leaving Shanghai, then I am going to Suzhou. Twenty. I am expecting him to come. Don't know why he has not yet come. Translate into Chinese. 1. The dog hit the sheep two or three times. It will probably die. 2. Today there is no wind, and so it is not cold. 今朝没风水嘛啦? 3. Men ought not to drink too much wine. 您不应该多吃酒. 4. I have eaten a slice of meat and drunk a cup of tea and now am able to walk. 我已经出世困扰了,有无数了,已经走得动者. 5. Men can walk, only birds can fly. 因为走,必须要为飞. 6. There are many trees and flowers on the hill. 谁让有毒或死了乎? 7. Many Chinese worship Buddhist and Taoist idols. 都和中国人把不杀了神道. 8. I wanted to follow you, but the teacher would not permit me. 我要跟侬,但是西上不许我去. 9. Let me go and tell him that you have already returned. 让我去告诉你,你已经走了这. 10. I will use my knife and cut open the pear. 我要用我的刀切开这只山里. 11. I heard the dogs barking in the night and so could not sleep. 夜里我听得够了了,所以困不着. 12. Children like to play at beating the drum. 小女孩是靠顾住白相。13. These flowers are of many different colors. 
Dekuhu Zunelosaga. Fourteen. How many miles is it to Suzhou? Do Suzo Yuchi Hurilu. Fifteen. When the pupils take an advanced lesson, the teacher should first explain it to them. Notes Note 1. In the Buddhist religion in China, a Buddha or one of his manifestations is known as a Vo. The Bodhisattvas are known as Busa. Note 2. A Chinese mile is about one-third of an English mile. Note 3. In the sixteenth sentence of the first exercise, notice the expression me song. Very heavy. This is the way the Chinese speak of a serious illness. They also speak of a disease being light, qing, just as we do. Note 4. In the eighteenth sentence of the first exercise, vada means not very. This is a very frequent expression. Note 5. In the seventh sentence of the first exercise, Tsang Ke Lang means on the window seal. End of lesson 18. Recording by Cheyenne Arrowsmith. Lesson 19 of Lessons in the Shanghai Dialect by Francis Lister Hawkes Port. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Cheyenne Arrowsmith. Lesson 19 Asking Questions, Expecting Negative and Affirmative Answers. In addition to the interrogative forms already given, there are ways of asking questions when a negative or when an affirmative answer is expected. Thus, when a negative answer is expected, the clause begins with k and ends with n. Thus, k yu sa yong de na? Is it of any use? It implies that it is not of any use and expects the negative answer. K responds to the Latin num and implies no or a negative of the proposition conveyed. When the affirmative answer is expected, the clause begins with gava and ends with the usual interrogative va. Thus, gava in kitsuva. Ought you not to do it? implies that you ought to do it and expects the affirmative answer. It will be seen that in this case also the g expects the negative of the proposition conveyed, that is, the negative of a negative proposition, which is an affirmative. In other words, the answer is that you ought not not to do it, or you ought to do it. Vocabulary Every place or everywhere Gotsu or Gotolotsu Of course Suzu Afterwards hereafter Oh so Ole or eo until sato wait until tanto 
daily. 念念 or 念作 about 月清 or 月作 about the same, not much difference. 查不到 secret. Early. True. Zeng. False. Ga. Secure. Wang Dang. A long time. Sang Yu. Sang Yu Zhe. Do Zi Zhe. Pi is the classifier denoting whole pieces of dry goods, a piece of cloth. A pi bu. A piece of shirting. A pi yang bu. A piece of silk. A pi so. A piece of satin. A pi du zi. Grass. Cho. Vegetation in general. Who cho si mo? Coal. Me. To add. Ga. To add a little. Ga di. Honest. Lo za. A piece of land. Ikwe di di. A piece of stone. Ikwe za do. To pawn. Dan or dan ta. To mortgage. Or ata to change a dollar into cash. Day a ten cent piece. Iko one cent. Ifeng twenty cents. Liangko. Sike. A half a dollar. Bu kui yang di. Small money. Shou gu zi. Or shou yang di. Change. Zou de. Rikshou kuli. Tofu. A great many. Jokwe. Exercises. Translate into English. One. Wei zi lang lo hulu li yo ga di mei. As it's cold, need to add a little coal in the stove. Two, ma ho zi zuo de yao bong wu. After bought it, give me back the change. Three, wa zeng zu dong yang chu ying ge de chu fu xi gang ding ba yi ji gu. Before sitting into a rickshaw, you ought to settle the price with the rickshaw coolie. Four. Di ge ning yi jing dang ta zi ye yi zang. That person has already pawned his clothes. 
5. 我有买一块地皮，但是我听得已经压脱在。I wanted to buy a piece of land from him, but I heard that it had already been mortgaged. Six. Mo me hui shi chao chao. Horses like eating grass very much. Seven. Wo bi gu yu bu kui yang di, so yi ma wa qi. I only have half a dollar, so I can't afford. Eight. He was keen to learn the word, so I didn't understand it. He doesn't tell truth, so I can't believe. Nine. You are not going to do anything good. You ought not to do it until it is done. Ten. I suppose I go to the doctor and I get better. Although I looked for it everywhere, I just can't find it. Eleven. You are not the one. You are the one who is lying. You tell the truth, of course people will believe. Twelve. 日日读书，自然可以学的。Study every day, of course one can learn. Thirteen. 等到侬读完子这本书，乃末侬会学中国话。Until you finish reading this book, then you will be able to speak Chinese. Fourteen. 这个两篇部分颜色差不多一样的。These two pieces of cloth, the color is almost the same. Fifteen. 按按理做事体，搿有啥用头呢？ Doing things secretly, what use of it? Sixteen. 低头到苏州，有几户里数，一贯有三百里路。From here to Suzhou, how many li is in distance? About three hundred li. Seventeen. 这块石头要爬来稳当地。This piece of rock needs to be placed in a secured way. Eighteen. He cheats his own yuan, and never sends to me. He has been away for long, not yet returned. Nineteen. I want to learn to read and write properly. I want first to learn how to read, then learn how to write. Twenty. 花草树木，人人欢喜看。Vegetation and plantation, everyone likes to see. Twenty-one. 大洋的袋子，小洋的，要当心，因为有多花小果子是假的。When exchanging big dollar to small money, be careful, as there are a lot of small money are fake. Twenty-two, 真落价，万难看得出。Genuine or fake, difficult to tell. Twenty-three, 这本书有交关字我识不出的。This book has a great many characters I don't know. 
Translate into Chinese. One, I do not know where the child has gone to. I have looked for him everywhere, and I do not know where to find him. Shonu to ali chingu wa shota. Wu ko toro tsuchi shin yi shin waza. Two. Call the servant to come and add some coal. Zhou Yongning le ga di mei. Three. I told the pupil to sit here until the teacher returned. Wu Zhou san zi su le de. Four. I was almost beaten to death by him. Five. Take the dollar and change it into cash. Six. An honest man speaks true words. Seven. I thought he was coming, but afterwards he wrote a letter to me and told me he could not come. 我想伊要来，但是后来伊写一封信来，我伊不好来。Eight. The children have played for a long time, and now they should go to sleep. 小囡白相子上有在，现在应该去困。Can you say that you did not know this? Nonka kui wu digas non vashotava? Ten. Is it not good to do things so as to please others? Zu zi ti pa benin kwa wa, ka fa zi ho wa? Eleven. I had to walk here because I had no small money and so could not call a rickshaw. Because I had no small money, I could not call a rickshaw. Eleven. I had to walk here because I had no small money and so could not call a rickshaw. Twelve. If he said he would do it, of course he would do it. Sazu yi wu yao zu wa, ne ma sazu yao zu wa. Thirteen. How many cash can you get for a dollar? E kui yang di kui de qi hu dong di. Fourteen. That man is not at all honest. And he has already pawned a lot of clothes which were not his own. 一个人一眼不老实，已经当他几多货，不是伊自家的衣裳。Fifteen. This man wears silk and satin. He must have a lot of money. 这个人只知收了头子的衣裳，伊一定有多花样的。Note. Note one. In the third sentence of the first exercise, the expression "gang ding" means to settle the price.
Literally, it signifies declaiming to a fixed point. Note two, in the sixteenth sentence of the first exercise, Su is added after Li for the sake of euphony. Note three, in the twenty-third sentence of the first exercise, Su is used. This is always used of knowing characters in the Chinese language. Sometimes it is used in the expression "sa hua," meaning to understand affairs. A man who does not "sa hu" is a stupid fellow. End of lesson nineteen. Recording by Shyan Arrowsmith. Lesson twenty of Lessons in the Shanghai Dialect by Francis Lister Hawksport. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Shyan Arrowsmith. Lesson twenty. More verbal idioms. Does and was are often used after the verb le to stand. And give the sense of able to stand or unable to stand. Thus, le does means able to stand, and le was unable to stand. The same words are used after other verbs also. Thus, we have ko does, meaning worthy to be trusted, and ko was, meaning unworthy to be trusted. Daku is also used after verbs and vaku. Thus, we have dang daku, meaning able to beat him. Literally, beat obtains a pass. Dang vaku means unable to beat him. Literally, beat not surpass. The expressions i daku and i vaku. Are also idiomatic. The former means within the range of pity; the latter, beyond the range of pity, or greatly to be commiserated. Vocabulary. Year. Ni. Or, su. To steal. To. To beg. To. A beggar. To beg. Literally, to beg rice, or, go hutsu. To marry a wife. To niangzi. Literally, to beg for a wife. See note. To tie as a small parcel. Za. To bind with a cord. Ba. To command. Feng fu. Price. Ga di. Or hang jing. Most frequently used is the market. How much is it, or what is the price? Sa ga di. Or sa ang jing. A soldier. Yi ge bing ding. A thief. Yi ge sa. A robber. 一个讲道 ，a magistrate or Mandarin， 一个姑父 ，or 一个姑姑，一位 is often used as the classifier. 
Mandarin dialect. Ku wu or Konyu Shanghai dialect. Sanghe Tuba A Buddhist priest. Igo Zang A Taoist priest. Iga Doz A Nung Iga Niku Number Sumo Zang is the classifier used for sheets of things. A newspaper. It's a shinwenzi. A proclamation. It's a gozi. A sheet of paper. It's a zidu. Bo. Is the classifier used for bales of things? A bale of merchandise. Ipohusa. De. Is the classifier used for piles of things? A pile of timber. Itemodo. A pile of bricks. Ite lotsu. Ku. Is the classifier for tubular things. A flute. Iku de. A pen. Iku pe. A pencil. Iku kepe. Green. Lo. Red. Hong. Blue. Le. Yellow. Wang. Black. Ha. Few. So. Truly, saze, more than, vaba, more than a hundred men is, vaba epanin, less than, vasho, or vamu. A small quantity of D used after the verb people bashing tea so tea leaf so yet the whole of a thing. Ich a man or two Kupuning About used with a number Bu About a hundred Bapu Nearly More Nearly three miles. More A Q. Idiobits. Hair on the head. Dofa. News. Xing To take things by force. Qiang. Or chianda to tie up ba or bo 
to put forth a proclamation. Takozu. Exercises. Translate into English. One. Digasa sounds on let her mother. So that's ma, your bang itchile. This thief often came to steal things. If caught, tie him up. Two. Wu kuchi shinun zila. I saw on the newspaper that the Mandarin has already put forth a proclamation and commanded the soldiers to catch the robber. Three. No, how were you beaten by him? Because I was not able to beat him. 4. I saw in the temple Many Buddhist priests were worshipping the Buddha. 5. No yo hoku na hosang hetuba. Do you want to learn Mandarin Chinese or Shanghai dialect? 6. Uzan tatsu do zi si liang yang. Buddha is the priests and Tao is the priests are different. The Buddha priests have no hair, whereas the Taoist priests have cues. 7. I haven't read newspapers for a while. Any news this morning? 8. Diga ya bohu sasagadi. This parcel of goods, how much? 9. Diga shonu chi suze. Losu. How old is this child? Six years old. Ten. Ni si jiang yi jing ma zi e de lo zi yu be zo wang zi. The mason has already bought a pile of bricks and got ready to build a house. Eleven. Ya li yu yu liang, ning hu shi tsi de. There is the moon at night, people enjoying playing the flute. Twelve. Diga ye po li xiang, yu chi gu be, yu ye ba gu. How many pens in this parcel? A hundred. Thirteen. Yi wei sa lo va to niang zi, yin wei yi zi to va qi lo. Why he's not marrying a wife? Because now he can't afford. Fourteen. I saw many flowers on a mountain, red, 
yellow and white truly can say colorful. Fifteen. Ah, 过年可是用 K 笔写字。Foreigners like writing with pencil. Sixteen. 多上海不满眼里路咯，不怕十年里路。To Shanghai, it's less than twenty li, but more than twelve li. Seventeen. 因为我看见一个讨饭的。上有不吃啥，该老叫佣人拨点物事伊吃。Because I saw that beggar hasn't eaten anything for long, so I asked the servant to give him something to eat. Eighteen. 这个包要扎好，拿到店里去。This pack needs to be tied up and taken to the shop. Nineteen. 老子告诉我，是啥个家的不 ？Honestly, tell me, is it the true price? Twenty. 四老七老八是啥个数目？是十九。Four and eight and a nine, summing up to how much? Nineteen. Twenty-one. You go to the Nuns are unmarried girls. Translating to Chinese. One. If you do not read the newspaper, you will not know the news, and then when you converse with others, you will have nothing to say. Such non vacuum news, news non vacuum short. Never non to be in power, non say how. Two. When a man dies, the Chinese invite Buddhist and Taoist priests to the house to perform funeral ceremonies. Nin shi zi ma, Chinese people bring the dead to the house to honor the dead. Three. I put my pen and pencil on my writing table, but now I can't find them. Has anyone been in and taken them? My pencil and pencil are on the table, but I can't find them. Has anyone been in and taken them? Four. Which do you think is the pleasanter to listen to, Mandarin or the Shanghai dialect? Nong shang gu wu lo shang hai tu ba, a li yan hao ting di. Five. When I was young, I very much liked to play the flute. Six. A thief enters secretly and steals things. A robber kills man and enters and takes things by force. Seven. 
，什么偷半子进来偷么子，强盗嘛，打死只人咯，进来抢么子。Seven Chinese are called yellow man, foreigners white man. Chinese people call white men, Chinese people call black men. Eight. When you go to the shop, ask the price of the boots and come and tell me. 侬到店里去问鞋子的价钿，来告诉我。Nine, I caught the thief and bound him to the tree. 我捉住伊的石路，绑伊了树浪。Ten. If you use a foreign pen to write Chinese characters, they do not look well. You must learn to use a Chinese pen. Such as using a copy law, write Chinese words is not good. You must learn to use a Chinese pen. Eleven. Do you know the The Chinese beggars in the city are numberless. Shanghai 的高货子没数目啦。Twelve. When the Mandarin has important things to announce to the people, he puts forth a proclamation. 官府有要紧的事体，对百姓话嘛，伊要出告示。Thirteen, I saw more than a thousand soldiers. 我看见不排一千兵丁。Fourteen. The merchant bought more than five hundred chests of tea. Shanghainian merchants buy five hundred chests of tea. Fifteen. Are three hundred dollars sufficient to buy the house? Less than three hundred will do. Note. Note one. To marry a wife is expressed by 托娘子 When we speak of a woman being married, we use the expression 出嫁 Literally, to go forth for the house or family, the woman leaves her own family entirely and joins the family of the husband whom she marries. Note two: the words "vaba" (more than) and "vasho" (less than) are used in answer to questions. The words "vamu." Are often used for less than, meaning literally not full. Note three: in the second sentence of the second exercise, to perform funeral ceremonies should be translated "zu gong da" or "ni qing." It means to say masses for the soul of the departed. 
Note four. In the thirteenth sentence of the second exercise, more than a thousand soldiers can be expressed ichi do, and in the fourteenth sentence, more than five hundred chests of tea un bato. Note five. In the fifteenth sentence of the second exercise, the answer would be vasho sepakwe. Note six. In the fifth sentence of the second exercise, when I was young, is translated ni ji qing a zi. Literally, the time when my years were light. Note seven. In the eleventh sentence of the second exercise, numberless is translated masu mo. Literally, without number. End of lesson twenty. Recording by Shyan Arrowsmith. Lesson twenty one of Lessons in the Shanghai Dialect by Francis Lister Hawksport. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Shyan Arrowsmith. Lesson twenty one. Verbal idioms, ordinals, and remarks on the expression of time. To express the idea of about to do a thing in Chinese, you can use the words "jiang you." "Jiang you qi" means about to go. "Jiang you xi" means about to die. Another way of expressing the same idea is by adding "kua zhe." After the verb, kua means fast. Qi kua zhe means I will go fast. That is in a moment. Le kua zhe means will come fast. That is in a few minutes. Te zheng is often used, meaning just on the point of doing a thing. Thus, wo te zheng you qi. Means I was just a going. The expression according to or as it seems to me is expressed in Chinese by the words "zuo mu ku." Zuo mu, used alone, would mean follow me, follow my example. The ordinals are formed from the numerals in a very simple way. The word "do." Is prefixed before the first numeral and d before all the others. Thus, the first is do ye, the second is di ni, the third is di se, and so on. When first is used with the verb in the sense of the action being prior to some other action, the word she. Is used. Thus, we have. Nong va zheng cha qi ye xi de, wo xi yo guo shi nong yi zhang zi ti. Meaning, before you go, I first want to tell you something. Again, xi zu di ya, ne ma zu yi ya. Means, first do this and then do that. Again, we have for the same expression, "she to diga, me to iga." First, do this. Slowly, do that. Remarks on time. About midnight. Bu ya bu. Just before daylight. Ti liang kua. In the evening. 晚婚的 or 晚婚动 last month, 十一月 or 十一个月 next month, 五月 or 五个月 first part of the month, 月头 or 
月到啦 ，the end of the month， 月底 ，the middle of the month， 月半 ，every month， 月月，月度，我，美元 ，first day of the month， 初一 ，second day of the month， 初二。And so on up to the tenth day of the month, which is Tuesday. After that, D is used instead of Tu. Thus, the thirteenth of the month would be Dasse, a year, Eni, half a year, Buni, this year, Jingni, last year. 九年 ，next year， 开年，来年，明年 ，every year， 年年 ，each year， 每年。See note. The New Year， 新年 ，New Year's Day， 年初一。The end of the year, Niya. Literally, the night of the year. Also, we have Nidi. At the beginning of the year, Nidulang. To pass from the old year to the new, Kuni. Sanbu and Wubu are used with year, month, and night. Just as they are used with day to denote the first half and the second half, thus we have sanbuni for the first half of the year and wubuni for the second half. Rice bought in a shop. Mi work. Sanwa answer. Wei xing. Beginning, qi de, again, zhe. Exercises translate into English. One, la la yue bu yue liang ding hao ke. In the middle of the month, the moon looks the most beautiful. Two, hu lu yue ying kua zhe su yi yue ga di me. The stove is about to go off, so need to add some coal. Three. 做木苦，这个人是靠不住的。In my view, this person is not trustworthy. Four. 早上头石头出来，也快落山。The sun rises early in the morning and sets early in the evening. Five. This is my second son. The third one is in the house. This is my second son. The first one has already gone out. Six. You have to go to the house. Many people go to pay New Year's calls on the New Year's Day. Seven. 九年没出来洗，今年讲在。Last year the rice was expensive. This year is cheaper. Eight. 侬阿里头过年，我想了屋里过年。Where do you want to pass from the old year to the new? I would like to stay at home. Nine. 侬是独自几日在，别过半年。How long have you been studying? Only half a year. Ten. 你也人人有事体，新年里隆重人白相。Everyone has affairs on the New Year's Eve. All the people play in the New Year. Eleven. 
，伊将要去的时候，有人来叫伊不要去。When he was just about to depart, someone came to ask him not to go. Twelve. 请坐一席，先生要来快餐。Please sit down for a while. The teacher is about to come. Thirteen. 天凉快是顶冷的时候。Just before daylight is the coldest. Fourteen. 下个月我要出门到苏州去。Next month I will travel to Suzhou. Fifteen. 旧年生意一眼不好，今年把生意好点。Last year the business was not good at all. This year hope better. Sixteen. 上半年迭个学生子书读了蛮好。下半年一眼不好。The first half of the year, this pupil studied pretty well, but the second half, not good at all. Seventeen. 一只房子简直可以造好，我想开一年可以造好。That house, when will be complete? I think next year. Eighteen. 六月初三，我写一封信给了伊。现在是七月初一，但是还不曾有回信来。On the third of June, I wrote him a letter. Now it's the first of July, but still no answer yet. Nineteen. 侬不曾出去，生活要先做好。Before you go out. You need to do the work well first. Twenty. 月头浪不动地，现在不好不个。Give the money at the beginning of the month, not now. Translate into Chinese. One. We will close the school on the fifth of next month. 五个月初五，你要放学。Two. For how many weeks will you close the school? For about six weeks. 放置几个礼拜，约着六个礼拜。Three. Sometimes in the evening, as the sun is sinking, there are many beautiful colors in the sky. Four. As it appears to me, you can finish this book in six months. 照我看，这本书侬六个月功夫可以读完。Five. Just as I was about to go to sleep, I heard someone call out that the house was on fire. 我铁正要困的时候，听见人喊房子火着灾。Six. The thief enters about midnight. 十进来是半夜半的时候。Seven. Before you go to school, you should first wash your face and hands. 侬不曾到学堂里，先要擦面罗净手。Eight. On the first day of the year, all the shops close their doors. 腊年初一，笼中的店全关门的。Nine. When will you begin to study Chinese again? I think next year. 侬几时再起头读中国书？我想开年起头。
ten. A year has twelve months. A month has thirty days or twenty-nine days. If it has thirty days, it is called a large month. If it has twenty-nine days, it is called a small month. Any use any year, one year, or the use of any year, or the use of two years. Sazu se se ni se jo dou yue, sazu ni zhu ni se jo xiao yue. Eleven. Last month I was sick, but now I'm better. Xi ge yue wo san bing zhe, de zhi zhi wo hao di. Twelve. Where were you yesterday afternoon? I had gone out to pay New Year's calls. Sonia Wu Bunye, non la alida, muta chibani ze. Thirteen. At New Year's time, everyone wears their best clothes. La la xinyi li guo nin zha ding hao kui yi zhang. Fourteen. Now I have no money. I will pay you at the end of the month. Is it madong di la la yue di ba nong? Notes. Note one. In regard to the expressions ni ni and yue yue. It may be remarked that a very common way of forming the plural in Chinese is by the repetition of the noun. Thus, ni ni means man in general. Note two: in the sixth sentence of the first exercise, the expression ba ni means to pay respects at New Year's time. Ba to worship is used for Worshipping deities, and also of worshipping or paying respect to men. Note three: In the fifth sentence of the second exercise, the expression for a house to be on fire is "huzatse." Note four: In the eighth sentence of the second exercise, all the shops is translated "longzong di ze." The ze. Makes the assertion more emphatic. End of lesson twenty one. Recording by Shyan Arrowsmith. Lesson twenty two of Lessons in the Shanghai Dialect by Francis Lister Hawksport. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Shyan Arrowsmith. Lesson twenty two on comparison. The usual way of forming the comparative degree of adjectives has already been stated. When two things are compared with one another in Chinese, the words "bi" or "bi zi" are used between them. Thus, "mu bi zi ge dou." Means the horse is larger than the dog. Yi bi nong ho. He is better than you. There are a good many other ways of expressing comparison. Thus, vaje means not equal to. Also, we have vazi, meaning not equal to or not up to. Vocabulary. To present or send to escort a person on the way. Song. To count. Su. To reckon. Su. To send a person. Cha. To send a letter. Qi. To deport oneself to treat others. 
de to treat her rudely de me to keep observe so to knock the head on the ground to cow tow cuddle a loaf a a stone mason a hammer a or a wine shop is the classifier denoting a pair or a brace. A pair of fowls. A pair of candles. A husband and a wife. Ite fuchi. Ko is the classifier for some articles of furniture and for a whale. A bookcase. Iko Convenient. Bi dang. Clever, wise. Chongming. Propriety, custom. Guiju. Coughing. Eko guze. Sometimes. Sounds. As if, like. Ho To compare. B. An account. Za. Reason. Yu ku. Exercises. Translate into English. 1. Lan yi ya kun yin yo su zang. On New Year's Eve. Everyone wants to reckoning accounts. 2. 能为沙漏有起, 因为一餐不起了. Why are you going? Because he sent me to. 3. 心急车起吗? 发生就有几起. Has the letter been posted? Not yet, but about to. 4. Sajian yo yong chi kwe sa de. Mo va shota, va zeng su gu xie. The stone mason is going to use how many stones? I don't know, not yet reckoned. 5. Yi sang zang ding wo me ho, su yin wo yo song di ma zi la yi. He sometimes treats me well, so I want to present him a few things. 6. 狮子里能把自己奔死,我不晓得为自我人生了. How many books do you put into the bookcase? I don't know, because I haven't counted. 7. Kanin tachima inge sungi doman ko. When a guest is leaving, you should escort him to the gate. 8. De ko guze sanin tsuwa, mojian tsuwa. Who made this coffin? The carpenter did. 9. Your horse is very much faster than mine. 10. 
。这个学生子比之前的聪明点。This pupil is a bit cleverer than that one. Eleven. This one has a lot of BBQ. He can't do it all. This pair of candles can be compared. Not at all different in size. Twelve. 这个两个人相貌的女姑，是位置了酒店里都吃之久了。These two persons quarrel because they drank too much in a wine shop. Thirteen. 现在副长不必当等到五个月。Paying now is inconvenient. Wait until next month. Fourteen. This one is very good. He is not like the other one. This couple is pretty good, never quarrelling with each other. Fifteen. This person does not have a good attitude. This person does things not as good as that one does. Sixteen. Five years ago, Xiaonu should have been doing cut out. When paying New Year's calls, children should count out to adults. Seventeen. Ah, go in to wait the sun. Guang, go see to meet you. Foreigners like eating bread when having meals. Eighteen. This person is not learning anything. He is not doing anything. This person understands nothing as if never studied. Nineteen. He is not learning anything. The teacher sometimes commands the pupils to act according to the law of propriety. Twenty, vayo de me bening. Do not treat others rudely. Translate into Chinese. One, the Chinese use rice to make wine. 中国人用米做酒。Two, this man treats his servants very well. 这个人对伊的佣人蛮好。Three, according to Chinese custom, before a man dies, his coffin is made. 做中国规矩，一个人不准死，先要做棺材。Four. If I wish you to come, I will send you a letter. 十日要侬来，嘛，我寄一封信来。Five. To take the child along with us will not be convenient. 大小女婿是不便当。Six, he is older than you. 伊比子侬年纪大滴。Seven, the stonemason uses stones. The carpenter uses wood. 石匠用石头，木匠用木头。Eight, I pay my bills at the end of the month. 我的账是了月底付的
nine. He and I have had a quarrel because he treated me rudely. 因为伊对美我，所以我对伊羡慕。Ten, I wish the carpenter to come and make a bookcase. 我约木匠来做一口狮子。Eleven, because I have forgotten so many characters, it is as if I had not read this book before. 因为我忘记特子多花字，所以好像我不曾读写这本书。Twelve, a scholar is wiser than a farmer. 读书人比之种地人聪明点。Thirteen. If a man takes too much wine, he cannot do his work. 实在有个人多吃点酒，伊不会做生活。Fourteen. My friend came to visit me, and then I escorted him to his home. 我个朋友来望望我，后来我送伊到伊屋里去。Fifteen. This book I will present to you. Do not return it. This book I will present to you. Do not return it. Notes. Note one. In the fifth sentence of the first exercise, notice the use of "son di." Di. Means a few things. Note two: In the ninth sentence of the first exercise, "kwa duhu" means very much faster. Note three: In the sixteenth sentence of the first exercise, the expression "kado" refers to the most formal salute of the Chinese. It is used by an inferior before a superior. The usual polite salutation is to clasp the hands together and move them from the feet to the forehead. This is called "tanza" or "zuji." Note four: In the nineteenth sentence of the first exercise, we have the expression "se guiju." This is very frequently used. It means to act according to the laws of propriety. It is a, a command frequently given to children. End of lesson twenty-two. Recording by Shoyan Arrowsmith.